of VR without boundaries. Next matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for the final time to the HTC 2v2 Invitational by PGL. It's Grand Finals. We have two teams waiting to see who will be crowned king. We have on one side North and on the other G2. Shox has just come into the studio and needs his hat. Come along, get it. Oh, you got to go. Oh, hang You're on. holding us up, Shoxy. Oh, I should have messed with that. What does it say? King. The king, king of esports. Hey, not proven yet, at least here, all right? Uh, Best of hats, luck. Hats are banned now, Best Richard. Of luck. I don't know if you know that. Uh, no no hats allowed on stage. No, that's. I'm kidding. That's about He's right. making that's a reference, sort of a meme memes. He's making a meme. He's making a meme. Yeah, but that's not here. That doesn't matter here. Super. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's fair. All right, Shox, we'll see you soon. Best of luck. See you later. Best of luck also uh, to North. So, again, for one final time, my name is Parler, also known as Mantruce. I'm joined on the desk right now by Matthew Sadekis Trivet and Henry Henry G. Greer. We also have the very talented ex Counter-Strike professional player who's now turned analyst, uh, among other talent uh, that he has, known as Chad Sponge. He's got, he's got some other really good talent. In, indeed, Chad very Sponge Birchill. This whole time we've been supported by Amazing Production. I'm ready and raring to go. I cannot wait to see what is about to happen. Guys, give me your thoughts. Uh, thoughts. Well, North did very good on the, the A map. I have to say, I thought going into that Space Soldiers would pick that up. Uh, but Cajun going to the AWP certainly changed the pace quite a bit. AZ has been amazing ever since his struggles yesterday early on. Yep. And I think they actually stand a chance in this. They have got to go for the full reset. Though, to that's win. Yes, that's, we should that's clarify that, right, Henry? So that's, that's a tall order. That means... Also, as well, Cajun B on the A-Map, I kind of touched on it in the interview. He was a little bit coy about that, didn't yeah, want to allude to it. Yeah, that yeah, response yeah, yeah. was quite hilarious. Yeah, he, he passed off very well. I, got, yeah. I wasn't sure whether he like, thought I was joking no, or what. No, no, no is, he was trolling he, you. I, no, no, no. When I was out there sitting with him, because I sat with him the game yeah. that I had off the two games ago when Space Soldiers was playing FaZe. Yeah. Uh, and I was sitting with him and I said, uh, you guys should have won that. In over no, I said you messed up and you went to overtime and then Cajun, you messed up in the A map and he goes, Yeah, I just suck at A maps. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you can't admit it. I was, yeah, like, yeah. I was like, Does he actually think he's good at No, yeah, yeah, no, no, I was watching he, he, like, like, he, he didn't even care. <laughs> and then I even said, like, ah, it was just one map. You get, no, no, I'm not gonna make excuses, I just suck at A map. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> well, right, there we go. Fair well, enough. Up against Kenny S and Choxy, they do not suck at A map. I think if North have a chance here, they have to take it 2 0. Uh, the A map, I just don't see Cajun be a burn. So yes, he looked better with the AWP, but Kenny S is also gonna be wielding that weapon. Um we we don't have the Vita yet, but still I G two in terms of the, the having obviously the advantage in the upper bracket, the way they've looked so far, I, I think this will be. I'm going to call two zero in their favour, I guess. All right. Well, you're already going in with your prediction. Appreciate that, Henry. Um, and we don't have the veto yet, but what we can look at to make sure everybody is up to Ooh, speed is this. the bracket. Whoa. Whoa! It's on top of me. Indeed, it's do all I, around us. Counter like Strike surrounds us. It began with Rain and do Nico. Do I look like a man with two heads? It began with Rain and Nico <laughs> falling to Shox and Kenny S. 2-0. Calix and Xanteres also fell to AZ and Cajun B 2-0. That meant in the lower bracket we saw Rain and Nico play Space Soldiers and that was again a 2-0. Going back up into the upper bracket, Shox and Kenny S 2-1 over AZ and Cajun on North. That meant AZ and Cajun fell to play Space Soldiers in the losers final whilst Shox and Kenny waited for their grand final opponents and it turned out to be the Danes on North. Who will be champion? TBD, it is to be decided. Any results there we're completely shocked with? I guess the one that sticks out the most in terms of a playoff, I guess before the event would be the phase one, not getting past the, the first quarterfinals there. Um, yeah, but I mean, look, I mean, the four teams we got, I thought North was actually the weakest of the four, sure. based on what we'd seen. Space yeah. Soldiers were excellent. Uh, and North picked it up and surprised me in a lot of ways. I think, hmm, 
If I had to go to to to, to who's out in groups, Navi. No, yes, I that was a big Navi surprise. Is the biggest one. Yeah. I think Navi. Uh, some people actually had them as a potential favorite. I think uh, it was actually G two and and Phase that were the yeah. two favorites. I was trying to rack my brain there, but Navi. Yeah, I think them going out in groups is probably the most uh, prestigious duo that didn't make it through. Now let's focus up and get to know our players a little bit better. Henry and Matt, the story begins with our French side, G2, consisting of the absolutely electric duo of Kenny S and Shox, two of the most famous, um, probably with some of the largest fan bases in the eSport that we are here uh, competing, Global Offensive, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. These guys are powerhouses of the scene. Shox is, as we have already iterated, reiterated, established, and let, and let everyone know uh, our 1v1 champion from last year. He's here to reclaim that uh, in form, in the form of the HTC 2v2 target tool. Yeah, absolutely. It means a lot to him. We know that. We know that now. Yeah, like this event has lended itself to obviously us having some fun with it, but there still is a lot of money on the line. $50,000 yeah. is nothing to be sneezed at at the moment. Actually, um, I think there's no money left. I took it all. Yeah, right. Your fee probably took most of that. Um, but yeah, going. obviously we've had amazing te players here and teams, prestigious organizations being interested in coming down here. This goes to show you there is space for this kind of tournament yep. within the, the, the tournament areas right 100%. now. 100%. The players enjoy it too. They yeah. like being here. Like and it, doing it's like it's a more, out. more social experience. You go in that green room at any time, everyone's kind of hanging out, laughing, and in the evening everyone gets to go out. It's not a series and watching demos. is not that sort of pressure on you. And even if you go out, like a team like Na'Vi, they're not especially upset or anything. Yeah, sure, it'd be nice to go a bit further, but they've had a good time here yep. overall, right? So it's, it's yep. nice to have a bit of a change of pace overall, I think. Well, we've gotten to know G2 a little bit better. We will delve into them more shortly, but first, let's introduce to you all their opponents, the Danes from North. The North is here, but will there be cheers when it's all said and done for them? Can they lift that trophy? Henry, is it a realistic possibility? Uh, realistic, sure. Probable? No, not really. I would say G2, with that advantage coming from the upper bracket, I think it's an open shot case. They'll win it. If they don't do it in the first series, it's very likely they'll do it in the second as well. The way Kenny's been playing, especially that close range AWP, Cajun's been decent, but he's not as flashy as Kenny. I don't think he'll be able to handle the kind of play style that Kenny brings to the server. AZ's been amazing throughout this tournament, though, to be fair. He has to be the carrier here. He has to be stepping up, getting those 20 plus frags, and finding that close range rifle play as well. Very exciting, frantic player. And like someone, that, sure. like I spoke in the interview, right? I said to him, like, he's in a slump right now and he's trying to find that form we once saw within Dignitas. And I do think this tournament might bring him some confidence I going into this tournament next thing. week. Yeah. If there's any player here that could actually get inspired from yep. this and build on confidence, I think AZ's the perfect candidate. Yeah, absolutely. Well, AZ has inspired confidence in him, at least on my part, because like you have all said during the course of this event, AZ has, has not exactly been performing to the best of his ability recently. And now at this tournament, like you just, you did a wonderful interview, by the way, Henry, with him. You've got some great right, details. Yeah. Um, and, and he did reveal that he hasn't been feeling great. And maybe this tournament has helped him, in his own words, warm up. Yeah, we'll I have the veto on screen any second, by the way, Henry. So if you'd like to lead directly into that, please well, go ahead. Nuke back once again. G2 have shown themselves to be formidable in this map. I think they've dropped one. They played it four times now and dropped it once. That was against the Space Soldiers, I believe. Was that right? Uh, 
There's a previous game. They've dropped it once, at least, anyway. It's in Kenny S, who's been carrying them on it. The close range orb that no one seems to be able to handle in that lower bomb site. Moving to Cobble as well. North is uh, notoriously their favorite map within their, their five man unit as well. So they'll be feeling very comfortable there. Um, obviously, moving up to A map, we just we kind of mentioned that at the start. If it gets to A map, I don't think the boys at North really have a chance, just from what we've seen from Cajun B. Azu was amazing. He was almost playing for two at that point. Wow. Um, but, you know, wow. Okay, G2. Okay, nice Twitch. We've got some G2 fans in the building. That's insane. I think we should show, show North some love as well. I definitely don't think those odds are representative no. of the chances of uh, the actual chance of these teams winning. 27, 73. Again, I think that's maybe still slightly unfair from my perspective. Oh, and we are going to see Nuke once again. The Kenny S bluff. If you were not tuned in earlier today, you will have um, you you will not have seen that Kenny made a play um, psychologically saying that they didn't want to see Nuke after they'd had to play it once. But it was a trap. He laid a trap and caught some bait. And then when they had to play it again, they actually did pretty well. So, guys, let's get in some predictions. Uh, I mean, I was being hard on shocks because it was... it was. Oh, know. yeah, did you have some banter there? Okay. Yeah, it was just all for the viewers, yeah. you know. Bullying again, Matt. Um, yeah, well, you're a dick, Paul. It's not my fault. So I think that it's uh, it's I think I, I think I do actually favor G two, but I think North the way they've been playing could make this a real great game. I'm gonna say it goes three I, maps. I, I think we could actually see a reset, but overall for the championship, I think G two has it. I think it'll be a great game, but I see it finishing in two maps. Like close score lines oh. could go either way. Maybe we see the third map. I think if you ask me for an honest <laughs> prediction, guns in my head, I'll say like yeah, okay, two maps with a decent series overall. I we have a, a very head. creative name here for you, Matt. Lil Lobster. You haven't seen that all day. That's because one time I went to Transfigurashan, I got really sunburned, came back, I was bright red. For about two All weeks. All right, there we else. go. Sado the Lobster, and then Mr. Wolf, a.k. Henry G, has gone with G2, and I cannot disagree with my friends on desk. Parla P. Oh, Pocahontas. We've switched it up. There we go. My braves tell the story. I am Pocahontas, and I am going with G2. Well... I guess that summarizes it for the pre-game. I guess all there's left to do, Parla, is think about Nuke and what it holds for us going forward. It's been a long tournament, a long day. I guess in terms of kind of being drained right now, it's going to be the boys at North they're feeling it the most. Just finish a big series there. You're going to be, like they said, they felt exhausted, but still maybe they have a little bit left in the tank to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with G2. who have been just hanging out on the couch. I a little bit left in the tank, Henry. What's that, sorry? I think I've got a little bit left in yeah, the tank. Yeah, well, I hope you do. I've got to keep you up all night. Don't worry. Um, oh, <laughs> baby. It's the grand final, but we still got time Henry's got to play some left. rhymes. <laughs> well, back into it then. Here we Are go. You ready? Yeah. Guys, enjoy it. You're the professionals here. I'm not staying for the try cast. Do your thing. Why does like that I hurt know my you hands can. so much? Jesus, am I, am I dying? That hurts. Look how white they go. Hank. Right. We'll look at that after. Um, who wins the first round? G2 wins the round on the CT side as well. It's starting on Nuke. This is their map pick. That's going on the harder side. Arguably, it's still one of the more balanced maps we have here in the pool in the 2v2 retake. And Shoxi coming in for main entrance. Up against it now. Two AKs on the T side here. Kenny Esso, like we said, he is so good on Nuke with the AWP. Comes out, finds the flick shots all over the place. Flashbang to get Shoxi in a position here from main entrance. And KGB is waiting for it though and could get caught out. Oh, yeah, jumping through a window, not much movement, but it's a good trade from Shocks. Had to do so immediately when he came through. As easy backs off, he's using this yellow pillar. It is the, yeah, it's actually a super powerful position when played right. Nazi does it perfectly. Yeah, tagged him up to about 10 HP at that point. Ooh, starting early, are we AZ? Yeah, I like that. Starting early, are we AZ? Yeah, you get enough time to do the BM in this this kind of setup as well. We've got like 10, 15 seconds once the round finishes. You guys touched on the aim map. That's important because you can go and salvage that orb at the end of the round. Um, so that's something to know if we get there. Kenny S, though, we said he was good. He gets that first kill, but AZ striking back straight away. And Kenny seems to know exactly where he is. The 5-7 coming in. Oh. Oh, it's so good to watch Kenny. Yeah, so confident in his play. He goes down to 23 HP, but it's a confident defuse coming in here, Matt. Two to one. And uh, Kenny S, he's turned up in his grand final it's so far. Fine. It's fine. He's got the old school Porsche esque gloves, as I like to refer to them as. Yeah. The, uh, the nice old driving gloves. Yeah, I mean, easy. He, showing the BM after Shox was just saying he looks so good lately. He's really happy with it. Setting a tone, setting a tempo. They were, uh, they were kind of doing that in the interview with you. Post silo plant. Kenny's waiting with an AWB right side. Gets. Ooh, he doesn't. I would have thought Kenny hits that all day. Does go back for it and get easy on the second approach. It's Cajun that has to hold off a one versus two with the bomb underneath and removed. He spotted the player jumping down. Bents out. Now Kenny knows exactly where he is. Not a Molotov. It's a flash. If it was a Molotov, he could have locked him off. Oh, he's blind. But Kenny, they're both blinded. Is going to go for it. And Cajun holds on to win the one versus two. 
Okay, he's just happy with that. He probably can't believe his luck. He's smiling right now because he's like, okay, I probably, as soon as we've got blind there, he thought, I'm definitely dead. That's it. And Kenny S, like we said, a very fast player, but sometimes a little bit too fast for his own good. He could have slowed down, right down and actually just lined up the shot, went for, I guess, a quick scope in that sense and can't find the hit. Cajun, no perfect crosshair play. Going to take down Kenny S. But look how fast this boy is. How does he do it every single time? The magic stick is out in true force here. And we'll see whether AZ can hold off two players from G2. AZ's going to wait as well. Make sure he gets the information before he gives himself up too much. Reveals anything. Time's going away. do not cost me. That's the thing. He's bought a ton of time early. Shox knows he's got to be behind the silos. They've checked everywhere else. Confirms it as well with the quick peek. Kenny getting a little bit cheeky. This round is already done. We'll go down to AZ. Make it 2-2. Two, two. Make it 3-2, excuse me. Indeed. North now do take the lead on the T side, and it's AZ who's been delivering. Most it's funny. We all thought Nuke was going to be the worst, and we avoided it. Now it's been the best. Yeah, it's actually in terms of like the spectator experience as well. Like Inferno has been a bit lackluster because it's always at the T side. We're getting 13 rounds. You think, oh, that's still probably fine. But here we go then. A 2v1. Shock's busting out the vents, finding AZ, who's been their nemesis in the last few rounds. He's been out in the two versus one. He's damaged there, but Shock's turned around. The 180 eviscerates him towards the window. The war cry coming in as well. I like that, Shock's. He's getting fired up. 3-3, three, three. and I said this series is going to be good, Matt. I do think G2 will take it in the first. I don't I, think we'll have a reset. Were you listening to our last uh, cast at all with Shox? No, I, I missed it. I was talking a lot about the, uh, about the, the interview. The he was giving me tips. Apparently, there's up to 30 different spawns, and they're, they're, they're combination-based. So if you spawn at ramp, there's usually means that a guy down below that spawns in a spot that's, that's relative. Um, on top of that, he was saying Nuke is the most applicable to a real situation because in every other map, you would get information from those who have died. Sure. Whereas on Nuke... You may get information, but there's so many. Oh, that's so good from Gajan. Behind the door. Just Shox is going to think that's it. clear. Yeah. Tap it. Oh, look, he is there. Down he goes. Gajan gets both as well after he called it. So that's very, very good. But he was saying it's... Oh, now <laughs> we're yeah, There we go. Now we're getting to uh, it's, it's, it's the most applicable because after uh, you get a kill on Nuke, there's just so many places they can be, and the noise is so ambiguous that it's, it's hard to get correct communication. So this is actually quite similar to a real situation. Utility, obviously, aside. But there you go. That, that was his thoughts. Whoa. He also said, as a terrorist, you have to go aggressive in the post plant to get position. On nuke specifically? Yep. Yeah. He said you needed to get some sort of control because there's too many angles. Like this. AZ exactly. trying to watch exactly, ab absolutely everything, but gets taken down. Cajun B managed to win 2v1 last time. And Kenny S is missing a few shots here. He's got the backup from Shox this time, and he's going to be tied up at 4 4. So, Shoxy finally. Oh, now they're frags. going back. Now they're going back at them. Oh, well, is it on the line here, Matt? Like, the fact we got $20,000 for the first place picture. Shock's entire reputation. And, and Shoxy, right? He's already won the HTC Vive today. He wants to get the $20,000 as well. He's obviously the reigning champion. The, yep, there you go. Yeah, he's got, he's got a lot to prove here. Tons. I heard a spot on G2 rides on this. They don't win. He's cut. Yeah, just before Cologne. Exactly. Oh, not Cologne, sorry, Dallas. Dallas, yeah. Debbie loves Dallas. Shox loves to check the orange box, and he does so right as he's waiting to look over a ramp, expecting someone to approach from high. But it's Cajun B that's going to slip back in. Spots one, doesn't realize it's a crossfire. Kenny misses. That's enough. Cajun doesn't have to do anything. You missed. Thank you very much. I'll take my chance to run away and hide. That's going to be the round. Oh, or is it? This is a smoke. He's on it. He's on the far side. He's got it. He's surely got it. Cajun can't find it. Oh, he's too late. No. Kenny pulls it back. Nice angle there from Kenny as well. Most people would assume he's on the left-hand side, sat deep in the smoke there. He goes on the far with the silo. That's pretty much the only way he can win it. Sitting in the smoke, four defuse. Didn't have time to find the frag there. Cajun B will be a bit frustrated with that one. It looked like he outplayed him and then some but still AZ now fighting back in round number 10 so if he shocks it it goes down first a nice headshot there from AZ up to Kenny S an unlikely scenario for him as you can see he's not hitting all the shots we've come to expect of him in this tournament so far he seems to be so fast earlier and now missing a few in the grand final but shocks he's betting him out a few times it's 5-5 as we tie things up once again very back and forth series of course six kills for Kenny seven for Shoxy. similar story as well for Cajun and AZ everyone's kind of keeping things level pegged Level pegged as a spots out shocks quickly as well, elevating himself that new ladder position. Cut off heaven. Kenny's got to hit first entry on an AWP on a retake, I'm afraid. He might switch over to the rifle soon because it's it's not looking amazing. I guess in the terms of the scoreline, the CT side is still absolutely fine, but it, it seems like that he's struggling a little bit. But uh, still fine for now. Round number 12, 6 5 in favor of North and Shoxy. He's beneath heaven this time. That's the smoke I'm talking about. And this map, especially when you've got the upper plant. That smoke at main entrance is so powerful. It means you can focus on the areas like Heaven and towards the lobby area itself. Shoxy coming in quietly, though. 
Can't really waste that much time. He might as well go quickly, really, because they're going to assume we're coming from heaven at some point. His teammate will be getting set up as well. Cajun B, like I said, he seems to know there's going to be some sort of presence in that area. Okay. Going aggressive on the up this time. He's got the shot. Those are the ones he has to hit. Flash out left, push into the right. That's going to blind up Cajun, but he's able to make his vision known before he gets around the edge of the silo. And Kenny now has to tap, force the gap peak. And that'll be enough. That'll do it. Everyone's dead, but it doesn't matter. North win the round. Seven rounds for North now. Or is that six because the bomb blew up and it's going to be accurate? I think it's seven. I think it's seven. Yeah. There you go. All right. Thanks, Val. Cajun B's delivering these clutches so far. Holding his nerve. We've got uh, a lot of experience on the server right now. Some Ooh. of Dana's dynamite and uh, AZ. Another fast fragment hit on Kenny S there. It's going to be a quick smoke and I think a full defuse as well. Maybe not the bait and switch. Can continues our trend that the last six finals have had Danish players in them, except for CC, which didn't have a Danish team present. Or oh, did it? Heroic was there. Yes, they were so there. So that ruins it. I'm sorry, I lied. Well, please forgive me. Don't hit me with the belt. Or the baseball bat. That baseball bat, I swear to God, scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Hopefully we don't bring it up at the final. We've been good boys so far. We have been good boys. Um, you especially, Hank. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, here we go then. It's going to be a uh, half victory for North here. And Shoxi, it's a difficult position for him. Can't really go for that full DP. So now going to be spammed down and then some more because he's, he's coming out of the toxic room. Kenny S, once again, almost impossible scenario here. I can't see a world where he wins this. And we'll see if we can step up as he goes down to 7 HP. That was kind of cool. Hits him again. It, no, it was one of them threw a nade, blew out the doors. The second one threw a flash. So as soon as he peeked, or was that thrown from his teammate? No, I think Kenny okay. threw the nade. All right, no, the Kenny threw the nade 100. Yeah. percent But the where the flash come from? It would have come from know. Cajun instead. But it ended up blinding easy because the doors disappeared on him. Okay, so it wasn't intended. It wasn't as cool as I thought, but it was still kind of cool. Kind of cool, Henry. Kind of cool, like Kenny has taken down AZ behind the side. This occasion is going to back it off one versus two. Saw the door open towards Squeaky. Knows that Shox is likely to push through from the same position. He's got him down. Good head shot. That's going to make it 10-5. Shox did say that five to six rounds is perfect on Nuke. Yeah. Not as clinical as we've come to expect from the G2 boys, but Cajun B, I have to say, I'm impressed with him so far. Um, I guess not really known for spectacular clutches within the north um, side itself. Always a very uh, kind of capable set of hands, not as flashy as a player as he's the all-per primarily, and showing he still can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the world's best with the AK-47. Actually, was quite impressive there in some of the more intelligent clutches he was bringing to the table. So 10-5, certainly a half victory for the Danes after it was quite an equal affair up until about the 10th round as we get straight into the second half of course, we swap over to Vegito on the T side now. Bomb down. Kenny S. This is where the orb really comes into its own as he gets into towards that lobby position. That same smoke being deployed at main entrance. Keep showing. Oh, yeah. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. On the pogo stick. Oh, oh that's unreal. Shocks just jumps and jumps and jumps like Tiger. Tony the Tiger. Tigger. Tiggers are wonderful things. That's what it is. They bounce and bounce and bounce. Ooh, and Kenny, there it is. That was very quick. Kenny comes and bails him out. That yeah. was my favorite part of the round. That was, yeah, the jumping was good. It was more the, the fact that Kenny got a kill because of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just, like, he's, he was so focused on, okay, I've done so much damage now, I'm going to get this kill. And Kenny just says, keep jumping, keep jumping, I've got this, it's fine. Well, no all for the CT side here, both in main entrance as well. No smoke to hold them off this time, Shox, he needs to be careful, he could have been spotted there. I think Cajun B might have just seen him. Kenny S in the hut entrance once again, gets taken down. He did find a frag somehow in that quick time, it's now 1v1. Cajun has lost track of Shoxy, but it seems to know he could be in the squeaky door. It's a decent plan for him. Shocks hits Cajun. Starting to pull it back ever so slightly. They'll pick up number seven to make it three rounds between the two. How do you do? Hank, I'm talking to you. I'm listening to you. You piece of poo. It's going to be M4s once again. Cajun not feel like I said this in the pregame. He's not known for the, the flashy or for the close range stuff, so it makes a lot of sense that he doesn't want to challenge with that particular weapon in this map, but it's well, getting yes now. Perfect lineup. That's it's not one. only a perfect lineup, it's the way he throws the Molotov and plays a position that means if Decon opens, great. If it doesn't, he can drop and play the other back off. Very good angle. Well, it doesn't work out for him, unfortunately. A good refair. That's the benefit of sticking together in a tight two man unit like that, especially in a two versus one. One ascertains the information, it gets called where he goes down, and you're trying to catch a player, especially like Kenny S. You know he's going to be using the orb. If you face straight away, he's got a reset time on like one and a half seconds where he can fire another shot there. So it's nice to see them playing like that and actually being smart in their clutch decisions. Clutch decisions. You're a clutch decision. I know. Oh, this is brutal. Bang. Shocks takes AZ quickly as Cajun B.
Shots to walk in and try and do this in one versus two. That is perfect from Kenny S. Yeah, he's getting there now. Starting to see some of that vintage performances from him. Well, we've come to know and expect from this young man. All the way down again, of course, round number 20. Getting quite deep into this one now. Still 11 8 in favor of North this year. Shock skill all day long. Gets dinked in the process, though. No HG to take him down. Kenny has to bail him out. Nice teamwork coming in from either side, I have to say. It's up to AZ now. Look how low both that's, of these players are. That's the impressive are. part for North is the teamwork has improved mm. throughout drastically. Full DP? Yeah, no, not quite. Look at the HP. Dead. And tap. Does he read the angle correctly? Oh, he's going to hold this. Unfortunately, Kenny opens the door, ops him in the back. Yeah, that's, that's the problem, right? You've lost track of Kenny S. He could be vents. He could be coming back towards the window side. Or oh, he's not Ram. You kind of already spotted him then. But still, he'd have to give it a bit of gamble, go for that, that defuse, hope for the best. And it doesn't work out for him. So it'll be 11-9. We're starting to close the gap now. We said this would be a good series. I do favor G2 overall, but the same smoke towards main entrance here, Cajun B. Coming towards. Henry, you're being very serious. I am a bit. Like, I've, does it deserve it? Is it too much? No, it's great. I like it. Yeah. I'm, I'm commending you. I have right clicked on your name. Yeah. And I've hit command. Okay. Great. Yeah, I, I thought at least we've we've had so much fun here. I thought at least the grand final we can show everyone. Ooh. We still got it. Um, some more than others. Yeah. <laughs> AZ gets the kill. This is gonna make them now onto 12 rounds. I'm I'm still not convinced that North has done enough to push them over top of the finish line. Remember, G2 only need to win one best of three. North have to do it twice. It's three rounds, the difference. Ball will be planted again behind the upper silo on A by Kenny and Shox. We'll try and play off of him. Well, sneaking in, it's going to be AZ and sticking together. This is what I like to see. Great teamwork and they get the kill. No refrag available for the CT. They're separated. That's a nice shot there from AZ. Hasn't even got near the bomb yet. Maybe a bit of a blunder there from Kenny S. And now it comes down to the clutch. Low HP on Shoxi. It looks like AZ's got the better of him here. This flashback is perfect, but Shoxi, I want to see that from his POV if that's possible. That looked absolutely nuts. The fact he got it so quickly. Low HP, I thought AZ had that round for days. Was it be double digits now for G2? 12 to 10. And we'll see whether round number 23 is just as fruitful for them. As the plant comes in towards lower this time, Matthew, and Shoxi makes his way towards Decon. Kenny is, of course, yep. back on the orb. Do we know if you can get double orbs? Is that a thing? Uh, I think you can, but I don't know why you would. Yeah. I'm just, um, I'm actually, I don't know if... I guess it's down to ratios, hmm. right? It probably detects, like, only half the team making have orbs. Yeah, I don't know left. about that. I, that's something never, not a question I've asked. I know, obviously, in the end, Matthew King is going to pick them up. But yeah. Kenny started this off. AZ is going to go down. It's on to Cajun B. He's tapping out the bomb. He's going to hold this. He's going to hold this against two. <gasps> no one's peeking. Oh, Cajun, you've done it, you wily old fox. Why did he, I don't understand why they didn't come in and start spraying. I think Shoxi was and just assuming. And he gets both kills just to add insult to it. Yeah, I think, he, I think they just assumed he would be fake defusing there. Uh, normally, he would in the two versus one. It's such a, a risk. But we've seen so many, I guess we'll call those ninja defusers. I'm um, seeing, I guess it doesn't really count. The ninja defuse when no one's there. Everyone thinks you're out of the site. But if they know you're there, full defuse doesn't really count. But, there's a nice shot from Cajun B once again. He already is coming to life there. Yeah. Have a round for the North. question is, uh, is that diffuse enough that's going to push this over the end? This this round's going to put them on 14. Two to go, and G2 are stalled out on 10 rounds. Well, AZ, calm down, son. That's Cajun, my mistake. Same idea, calm down. Bomb plant immediately on lower. Vent already blown out. They're going to get inside of the site. Shocks will have heard that. They're going to still play back stairs as Cajun will start to head back that direction. He's expecting them to retake the retake from the vents, hence the crosshair placement. But watch Shocks in decontamination. Getting only one. Hold the defuse. North could find map point right now, and they will. It's actually happening. North looking like the better team. I have to say, the teamwork has been astronomical from them. Just getting the refrags in, the clutches coming in their favor. G2 looking slightly out of their depth. I have to say, in terms of the raw fragging power we've come to expect in terms of Kenny S with the AWP, he's not hitting the shots. And uh, maybe Nuke, yeah, North worked out the system to stick together, try and find that first frag, then take down Kenny S with a two man unit. It's going to be Cajun being the vents now. Still, five rounds in a row will take us to overtime, so very possible, all things considered. And yes, taken down there. This could be it, Matt. Could be an early shout out for map number one. Shoxy left in towards that toxic room. This has to hope, wait for the tap to come in and try and take both players down. Yeah, he's got to do that. You've called exactly what he's got to do, Henry. Shocks opening the door. That's Cajun B that gets the shots back toward him instead. And that's going to do it. Map 1 goes to North, but they've still got... Not only this map, another map, plus a whole other series to win if they want this grand final. Yeah, so we need to uh, get the 2 0 first for that bracket reset. Right now, if it goes say. to three maps, they might not get the reset. We'll, we'll find out, but so far, so good. Smooth sailing for 
The lion? They called the lions? Is that a thing? Like they they roar, right? Um, so, yeah. So we got, Isn't it here the roar? North here the, here the roar. Isn't yeah. that their hashtag? It's, it's the lions. It's called the lions. Um, here the roar. The north is here. The north I believe is that here. their logo is a lion, but I'm not entirely sure it if they rep the lion. lion. It's definitely a lion. Well, is there that we go. is that are the is the Copenhagen team that they're so pull your pants up, sharks? He was doing his shoes. Um, still pants are a little low. So what happened? I mean, I was watching it and it was getting tight, and then unfortunately, right at that kind of like last third of the game, uh, the guys on North just pulled away. Absolutely. Um, it was, seemed like the KS North, was that a nuke backfire, maybe? Oh uh, yeah, could be. They were playing it quite a bit. I don't know if I call it a backfire. Um, I, I think, think I, most I think I think the orb was overused by Kenny. I think if like at the point I said, if he'd gone to the rifles, I think he'd be more successful. He had some very flashy moments with it, but overall, Cajun B, he was the MVP for me um, in that entire map. He was clutching all yep. over the place yep. and very intelligent. Not ex not necessarily that the sickest clutches with like uh, front page Reddit kind of worthy material, but it's very intelligent decisions and making sure he takes enough calculated risk to actually win the rounds and the two v ones and lots of fake, uh, lots of full diffusers as well coming in. And yeah, G two couldn't really get rolling there. It was quite equal to begin with as yeah, well. I think it we really was. We got to 5-5. Five, five. I thought, okay, they're on the, <clears throat> the well, yeah, city side right now. Exactly. And we thought that was it. Yeah. They got to that, yeah. one of the magic numbers that like Shock said, 5, yeah, that sounds good. So, yeah, you said 6, ideally. 5-6 is doable, for sure. I completely agree with you. So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with North, I have to say. Very impressed. Yeah, Very impressed. it's good. Good way to kick off the grand final, parlay. if you don't mind me saying. Uh, I do not mind you saying that at all. Good. And really as we <laughs> know... If North win this first best of three, do it again. We run it back because they come from the losers bracket. I'm not entirely sure I'm sold on it yet. I think that G2 are going to come back swinging. And if it goes to aim, oh, I don't know, it's anyone's game. Really, it is. And at this point, fatigue is definitely going to be setting in to these players. And so you really, it's, it's hard to. You hate to see it. What? The, the fatigue. You hate to see it. Yeah, you really do. I just wanted to say you hate to see it. Yeah. Why? It's good, good catch. Just, uh, just something someone once told me. A man that I look up to and respect, revered in the uh, in the industry, said, uh, "You hate to see it." All right, best moment in this invitational so far Ooh. from Nosti or Nostai. Thank you, my friend. The best moment. That's my a hard. One. My favorite moment was when Susan first appeared on the broadcast. Okay. That's a good moment. She appreciates that. Yeah. She liked. So you like the introduction earlier. of Susan? What about you, Matt? Uh, I'll be a little serious uh, to the game. I think just watching Calix play. He's that was been, true as well. He's been uh, been a surprise for me. I knew he was going to be good. I didn't know how good. He was very good. Um, well, I want. I kind of wanted to interview um, Space Soldiers. I'll get that. It's fatigue yeah, sitting in here as well. The tough part is the translation. Yeah, I, I wanted to interview them. I kind of wanted to ask them a quite an interesting question. The fact yep. is, what does it mean sure. for the organization and the players themselves? Just coming to a, an event like this and representing the brand and showing they can go up against the world's best, not necessarily in a five-on-five -five environment. Just put no, themselves but this is big promo for them. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. So this shows you they, they are capable of having the same amount of skill as these players and they are coming eventually they've got a great organization of space soldiers i mm, really wanted to get into indeed. the integrity with them on that stuff so that would have been really cool um i think they had an amazing tournament overall and i think this yeah i think calyx the introduction of him this is why this event's so good oh AZ, got the nice titty slippers. slippers on some tits nice pair of tits you got there son oh and kenny s following up behind look at him sly dog kenny he's a cheeky boy he's a cheeky boy but he in front of us right now, AZ is a chikabala. That's my least favorite part of this tournament. Uh, is to why can't you that. accept that nicknames happen and everyone's embraced it yeah, but you? It, it's not when that, it's kind of an obnoxious nickname. I like when he says Your it. Your nickname is Sadakist. That's But you didn't say it in an obnoxious tone. You don't say, Sadakist. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Yeah, I, please don't. Sadakist no, I love your name, Sado. Yeah, I think it's I very cool. Um, yeah, it is. Slightly intricate nickname. It's, but you've got yeah. to show some more love to the bola. All right. I, dude, if I just accept it. Don't worry. I'll be away. gone soon. As soon as this uh, second map starts, I'll be out of here. I'll be uh, out of your hair. Oh, people in chat are actually learning how to spell it. They forgot an E, though. B-O with an umlau. E-L-L-E-R. Yep. They forgot an E. Yeah. Well, they can do it however they want. It's all about creative interpretation. Creativity of G2 not paying off on Nuke. That was like their little ace up the sleeve. Maybe now the repetition of it has ended up backfiring. Henry touched upon it. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe 
suggesting that they could have picked yeah. a different map. Yeah, I was going to ask, that's one thing I meant to ask Fox, is what he thinks the worst map is for all of this. I know he mentioned Inferno seems the most one-sided, but he didn't necessarily say that he hated playing it. Well, yeah, if, you, if you're playing it, you're sat on that T side, you're getting 13 rounds, you're probably yeah. a pretty good time. Yeah. You know? It's difficult to hate that sort of situation, especially when you've got Kenny S banging everyone out. Um, <laughs> what's the next map, Parlor? I can't bang you out. Um, no. I am not sure right now. I, I, I believe I can get that information the next map. We would like to know it w was North there Pick, and that Cobble. is Cobble. That's Cobble. right. Cobble That's right. Yes. And so, okay, let's let's just uh, get into this. So G2 picked up Nuke. Um, that was their map pick, and they got to start uh, on the CT side, which was looking good for them for a start, but they get to start on the T side here on Cobblestone. It's traditionally North's best map, maybe not so much recently. They've, they, they've sort of dropped off recently, but um, we'll see what happens going to this one. If they can get the 2-0 here and reset the bracket nice and early, maybe we do have a nice chance of an amazing grand final parlor. Indeed. Well, I'll leave you guys to it. Best of luck. I'll see you shortly. Peace out, parlor. All right. Henry. It's just you and me. I think we're alone way. now. <laughs> Broccoli is in the room there. Oh, God, I hate that guy. Yeah. yeah there's a lot of wacky characters. I, I know he's got a pussy as well. Uh, we, I, I did bring a pussy into the room. Um, what, and I'm not what just talking about you. Where Henry. did he come from? Uh, she. She. Um, it's from production. Okay, well, there you go. It's a pussy oh, character. Yes, so this is the T side. This is one of the hardest maps in the pool right now in terms of... Being on the CT side, I think it's up there with Inferno. It's quite similar in terms of the layout. Yeah. Um, you've got to go in against this really yeah. tight shape of a connector and drop down. If the smoke comes in as well, you're knackered. But there's no smoke available this round, but Kenny S, he's going to be set up, poised and ready with the NBP once again. He's very quick and he's going to be locking AZ out with the Molotov there, sending him packing, and he might have to go all the way back towards the connector itself. AZ's going to wrap around. Get back out toward the doorway instead of going in through E box because he was already spotted. This is going to limit him severely because it's still a very tight choke point to walk through. He's being sent down. He has faded out an op shot, but Kenny gets back in position for yet another. He'll take him down, and this is all G2. All terrorists decided to go 3 0. So, yeah, we would, if you are just joining the broadcast, so I can't believe that the viewing figures and support we've had for this event, by the way. Like, it's, it's kind of because nuts, of you, right? Henry. Well, I, I, like, we've kind of talked about it being a fun show and everything. Like, I do think people appreciate a bit of a change of pace, but it's cool to see how many people are enjoying this sort of format. Um, if it does go to a third map, um, it, like regardless, like North would be thinking, oh, we got the first map, we, we lost the second, we might pick up the third. I don't think they will. Um, I don't think you saw uh, the performance from Cajun on that map earlier. The A map, we don't do a traditional map for the third. That's when Kenny S and Shoxy really come to life. But we do have the first map on the CT side for North here. A fast retake coming in. I think that's the best way to operate. Just go quickly. Instead of going super slow and trying to find a pick, I think you just stay as a two-man unit. Get out there and try and get a reflex right away and try and win the clutch situation. I think that's your best bet from what I've seen so far. Uh, especially if you don't have the orbit. Do this time though. Occasion beat. Will beat. Oh, I was about to say, looking like he's going to drop down. I wasn't sure if it was up form. And Kenny has spots one. Oh, there's one now. Backs away. Yeah, he was right to look out toward long. Gets the AWP in behind the boxes. He wants to try and peek back in time. Can't quite land the shot. Tank down to 7 HP. That's enough for Cajun B to fire through the box, knowing that he'd lagged him up. And it's going to put Cajun in a position to start walking in from E box. Shocks limited behind the statue. Can hold off this angle. Can't walk forward or back because he's going to expose himself to the stairs as he makes his way in. That'll do. Two rounds in a row for North. Not too bad. Oh, I was about to say, the bomb would be quite close. He got, it, he got it just in time. Not bad. Oh, two in a row for North. Um, this is one of the maps we've seen like some like 11 fours, 12 threes, and we'll see whether North can sink that deep into the second map here. They win this one. Um, we reset the bracket, meaning it's 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 what's the best way of winning it? So basically, they've come from the losers bracket, then they need to win the final twice essentially to prove their worth. G2 get the reward of coming from the upper bracket. It's kind of like the old school format. This is what we used to play like source days. Like you had to go for an upper bracket, and you had an advantage. Like normally you had to win just the two maps instead of three in a best of five, for example. Kenny's waiting to see if they'll push through. Shadow shows, down goes AZ, straight forward. Aggressive peek up from Cajun. He got much closer than I expected, but there's nothing he can do, unfortunately, in the round. He gets on it, he throws himself, reveals all from long. Down goes our Danish counterparts to this position. It now makes it four rounds for G2. And five rounds enough? Three rounds enough? What's enough on Cobble, Henry? Three rounds is enough. Wow. 
Sorry. throwing it all in there. It's going all right so far. Why is the front of the APC blue all of a sudden? I was thinking that as well. I think it's like one of those things your tab is going to be a little bit it's one of the shadow killers. Shadows are blue, if you're wondering. Okay. They are. Yeah. I would say something is imba in the graphics, but yes, shadows are actually blue in real life. If you want proof of that, when there's no underlaying tone to obscure that, it's translucence affected by its background. Take a picture of a shadow on snow. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, not believe you. Don't worry. Well, I I'm just letting anyone else know, yeah. Henry. It's blue, and it should be blue. If you color balance, it should be blue. Oh. Well, easy. Gives his position away, but he has got the smoke to work with. We know how powerful the smoke T-fuses have been so far, but he's lost track of Shoxy. No one knows where he is. I think he's hiding behind a flower pot on the bomb site at the moment. AZ's made the correct decision to go this route. And Shoxy's so good in the clutches. He seems to outplay guys every single time. So aware. Always in the perfect position, and there's not many people that can beat in those sort of situations. That's been true for many, many years, and it's going to be a GT picking up their sixth round north now, down to two. I heard you mention my name earlier when you had Shoxy up here. Were you asking him about? I think you said. Oh, I said you, you used to wreck him. Yeah, all I, the time. I, heard, I thought that's what you said. I thought, oh, great, Matt's actually making it sound like I've been saying that. Yeah, you have. Have I? <laughs> I've, yes, I've, I've been I saying consistently. I've, I've said it. I've he never ever beaten him. He was extremely disappointed, <laughs> and he said he never wants to speak with you again. Well, there you go. He does not like liars. Richard Papillon is quite a nice man. You are quite a terrible female. Cajun V takes down Kenny. This will bring it to a one versus one. Ample opportunity in terms of time, but not in terms of position shocks. Gets the kill back, and we find ourselves now in a six, make it seven, excuse me, score line versus that of the two North Hats. So you said three. Three might be a, about what they reach in all of this. Yeah, still a few rounds to go. Got six available to North. We'll see what happens. Flashed off, fires the shot. That's going to be the cue to get out of their choke points there, connect and drop down and ding to Kenny as well. I think this round's going to be north. All things considered. And that's Kenny ah. hits an absolute tremendous shot there. Not going to happen. Now it's just up the shot to try and run the timer down as much as he possibly can. A good head shot there. So calm, so collected, and he gets a second as well. Makes it look like falls almost there from the step position. He couldn't find the shot, and he recovers the orb. Doesn't really matter. It's reset the next round regardless. And look at this amazing first shot. That's beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. 2k for Sharks. He's got. I see. Bloody oh. hell. Don't break things, Henry. You'll best. get the baseball bat out in the finals. I don't want to see the baseball bat again. No, we've done so well. Don't need him. AZ's going slow to slip in here. He might be able to catch off Sharks. He's not going to show anything. So, oh, yeah, well, that's. Sharks is oh. there now. Kenny doesn't even. Sharks doesn't even need to beat Kenny Peaks for him. Which means Sharks is still on the stairwell. They have a perfect crossfire set. And if I was Cajun B, I'd just type killing console and move to the next round. He'll prove me wrong, not with a Molotov. Uh, one player is, and Kenny still sits and ready for it. He gets the up close no scope. I think it was, I assume it could have been a quick scope, Henry. Yeah, it, it could have. He loves the quick scope. Kenny, it's like sometimes he's he so fast that you can't even see in the two. You slow the, the frame right down. You can't see how fast it really was. It sometimes looks like a no scope. Here we go. Looking for double figures. Oh, it's so difficult coming this mid, this mid ramp, considering Kenny is actually looking good as well. But AZ rises to the occasion and finds the first shot. Oh, at the backstab. This could get spicy. Meatball. Yep, nicely lined up. Very well done from Shocks. Didn't want to take any chances. Hits the shot perfectly. Oh, but he's a ways away from this. Cajun's on it. He's on the wrong side. Spraying, getting closer, but he can't find him. And Cajun B picks up the third round. And then takes down Shocks immediately after. It's always so difficult. If you don't find the, the shot in the first, like, five bullet spray, panic sets in. You know, you're not really sure. The bombers, your team is going left, left, right, right, left. It's fine. And uh, it can all fall apart. So round number three picked up by North. We said that would still be possible for the victory. Ideally, you want to be getting five, I think, on Cobble. Um, but still... It's always that thing, you want to get as many as you possibly can. There's no real number you will be happy with, you know. Uh, it's going to be round number 13. The bomb down on the A side once again. It's coming us towards long A. This is a scary position. They've got across to the bomb side, which they have not done yet. I think we have one player in towards the balcony, so the X-ray a little bit misleading there. And he's oh. on the shot once again. He's not looked as lights out as he normally has. Been. Oh, that was good by Cajun. Walk in and find shocks before he can do anything. So now they're going to find four rounds. As we head into round 14, just barely getting there in time. I think quite a bit. I think they're about two seconds more. Henry, I really burnt my throat the other day. How did you do that? I told you. Oh, the uh, shisha experience. Yeah, it was a man. Dumb on me. Now I have to talk like I'm Howard Stern. Well. 
Round number 14. North do find round four, and it's going to be Shock City with the same backstab. It's just this event has been a bit like Groundhog Day, and this round, yeah, felt like we only saw it a second. Oh, yes, you love to see it. Shock gets in behind Cajun B, and it's AZ that has to hold this off one versus two. Pull it back in, get Shocks immediately, knew he was out there. Flash high in the sky, doesn't matter. Kenny's there to peek early. Pick up Dubla digits. Dubla. And uh, G2, going to round number 15 here. North, not as convinced as you were on Nuke. They actually look very comfortable there, I have to say, throughout it. Like, it looked like G2 are the ones that are struggling. Right now, obviously, it's the T-sided map, and uh, we'll see whether they can find round number five. If they get five, I think they still have a chance of taking this 2-0, and maybe we do reset the bracket. And who knows, that could be quite an interesting prospect as we get into this one. Time to get oh, away once again. I didn't see this from Vugo. What's that? V I, I said SK was playing slow and more tactical. He said slow play does not necessarily mean tactical. I thought SK looked more tactical lately. Oh, you ah, said this in the segment I wasn't on? With with shocks. Okay. I didn't what see was that. The, what was the actual quote? You said, you just I said, just said he was saying, uh, shocks was saying that tactical CS isn't the current meta. That it's more fast paced. You're normally playing for trades early and then playing yeah. four versus threes, which makes more room for the op. Hence why he was playing the op more. Uh, even with Kenny on the team, but they were playing the double op setup. The reason that I said, I countered, I just said, you're right, but what about SK who just slowed things down again? They looked more tactical. And Vugo's saying they don't. I get what he's saying. Um, it, it's the kind of thing that CSGO right now isn't reliant on maybe set strategies or a general approach like that. It's kind of the idea that you're kind of working good fundamentals and then maybe going to an execute at the end. Yeah, and he's right. If you're not necessarily just going slow, you could just be working a very slow default at that stage and just allowing your key players to do what they want. I'm not so sure I'd have to have the conversation. But AZ kicking things off in very stylish fashion there. Finds the first headshot to take down Kenny S. And Shoxy now up against it in the two versus one. Of course, against the kit. One flashbang, no smoke to go for the full DPC here. Nice little flashbang to go behind the APC. Oh, they can't find a kill just yet. So this round should be over. He should have no chance whatsoever. Full defuse will be attempted. Takes it out. That's his last chance. AZ. Things off in a nice fashion there. It's going to be round number one in their favor. And if you're not aware, if you're just joining us with the grand final, uh, this retake sort of situation does lend itself towards the T sides very much so. The bomb down, that's normally half the battle in Counter Strike. Get that down, then you've got a tall order on your hands. But you get the bomb down at equal situation uh, with grenades available as well and an AWP. That normally favors the T's overall in uh, real life Counter Strike as well when you're in a 5 1. Real life Counter Strike. Yeah. There's, a, there's a paradox. Yeah. Well, it is going to be Shocks taken down by AZ immediately. And then Kenny to be fooled, and unfortunately for him, he's not done much better. That'll give it North yet another round. As we start to build into our second half, if North win this, we're done. well, we're done for the first series, then we reset. If G2 win it, we go to the aim map and try and uh, decide a winner on that. Or, if we do it all again, Henry G. Henry G. Well... 11-6. North have looked very good on the T-side so far, especially AZ. He's uh, finding headshots all over the place. AZ once again on the hut, actively hunting for kills here. Not cowering in the corner this time. He'll be trying to find the CTs as the bomb ticks away once again. They haven't really made any progress towards the side whatsoever. They get the first kill, but even so, I don't think they can win the round. It's looking unlikely at this point. If AZ just gets one, that's going to tie things up. And here we go, the full spray. That's a, oh my god. Wow. Wow, AZ. Just get wrecked. Ah. Spray for the smoke, and we said we had it the x ray off as well. You can see you couldn't actually see anyone there. That's insane. That's actually so good. That saves a round, and every round is so important at this point in time against G2. North could actually take this 2 0. Definitely could. I think that's looking likely. Kenny's on the AWP, so too is Cajun B. Kenny's taking his time to work in from long B. Where's Cajun gone? He's playing in the f KFC. It's interesting because on HUD it says they're number th four and five, but then they're number one and two. But KFC obviously KFC takes down shocks. So it's just the op versus op left, and Kenny's trying to wall bang him out. That's not likely to happen at this point in time. There's no need for the peak. He's gonna hold this. Yeah, right. No smoke. Dead. I was feeling brave. It seemed. Might as well give it a go. Got the three second mark, but it could be faced at the same time. Given two targets in case B. He's the person that finds two frags this round. Thirteen kills for AZ. Cajun B. Lagging behind somewhat. He's got eight, but still, that was a big round for them to pick up. 12 12 on the G2 side, and Cajun B hitting some shots now. That's towards middle. And he finds Kenny S. Huge scalp to take in the context of this grand final. Shoxy now left in the two versus one. Walking in ever so slowly. Has the smoke with the full DP. So he finds this kill quickly. Oh, which he cannot. He should be taking the next two seconds. There it is. AZ finds him. 
And North so far, that's four rounds in a row, 4-0 in the second half. That's what we said, even three rounds is enough, I think, on the CT side to give you a fighting chance in the second, just because it is so T-biased. Yeah, it's been really T-bias, I have to say. Cajun trying desperately to get a shot down Long B. Good play from Shox. Starts it off, but Cajun gets the trade immediately. And not only does he get the trade, he switches to the Tech-9 in time to catch off Kenny. We're getting very, very close here. One round between the two of them. Well. North, if they tie things up at 11-11... I think they're the ones who takes the second map, and we do reset the bracket indeed. Good day, Zoe. Getting ahead of myself is Kenny S. He finally brings a round in favor of G2. They'll extend the lead to 12-10, but it's not looking comfortable right now. That was a faster approach from G2. They've been very slow so far, and I've been saying that doesn't seem to be the approach that works so well on this map. I think you just take the chance to try and get the refrag. If both of you come from the same place, which is obviously spawn dependent, you can't really rely on that sort of system. Well, like, as you can see in the mini map right now, four and three in the top left. They'll be on the other side of the map. Flashbang's coming in. Boxy though. They tell the shopping occasion be a chance to gain some control here. The flashbangs and HEs are good. Low HP, and now Kenny S does find the frag. Up to AZ, who's been very good in this series so far. There's the first headshot. Got information. Flashbang's decent as well. Decent indeed as AZ gets the head removed from Shocks. So G2 managed to pick up a 12th round. North will now get an 11th. They'll stay within reach. And I would say it's probable we do another best of three. North fighting from a lower bracket position. I didn't even think they were going to make the playoffs when this all began. Team Secret gave these guys the scare on this very map. In fact, Team Secret beat them in overtime yesterday to start off the tournament as KJB wraps back around finds Kenny. Yes, has to set with the AWP as they start to walk in from long. It shocks getting closer. He seems like he disappeared behind the alley. Nope, he's still right in front of KJB and he makes no mistake on the shot. They're doing this, aren't they? This is happening. A G2 pick up the round here or there, but it, I don't think it's going to be enough. Now we've tied things up though on the T side. They're looking like the better squad overall. Do we see North actually taking this to the next best of three? 2 0 in the first, and maybe it could actually happen here. Still some work to do though. We're getting ahead of ourselves. This is going to be Kenny S off the AWP now. We called for that. Maybe could be a solution for their problems. And it's going to be AZ though once again finding headshots all over the place. We said his confidence has been a huge factor for him recently in general play, in tournament play, Matt. And into the early stage of this tournament, he looked nervous and uh, underwhelming in terms of his aim. As the tournament's progressed, though, he's looked like his old Dignitas self. Yeah, know? he has. Um, very much so. And that's kind of impressive. Like we said, this tournament could be the one that kind of finds him his confidence once again. And look how confident he is. Every scenario, it's not like deathmatch or aim map. So he's actually playing real-life scenarios here that could happen in a that real game. That was really well played by AZ. Yeah. Throughout the Molotov, Kenny has to jump through it, dodges the flash. Yeah, why did that happen? Yeah, sorry about that. Then I, I should button. probably, no, well, I was, had my back turned to it, I was yeah. lounging. So, I'm sorry about that. Wow, it smells like pollen. Hobbit hole, gonna be in position, shocks. Ready to try and cut them off, this is around finally for G2 to pull them back to 13, but it's North's game to lose at this point. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every clutch, every real life situation it seems as well. But um, G2 do pull one back, it's going to be a killer piece as well. Kenny not on the orb once again. I think he's looked a little bit shaky with the orb, especially on Nuke as well. Once again, back on that rifle. I think he's changed his settings to just go rifle only. It seems like yeah. he can't really... I, I mean, CT side, it. he's not getting the angles. Oh, Here. that works! I was going to say, now we get to spawn it long and they peek. And then he nails it anyway. Shox is going to pick pick up another. Excuse me. They're going to go 14-14. There's a real chance in this that G2 does pull it back. We'll see. They've done it before. They've had some crazy comebacks in this tournament. Certainly, I, I guess I, I'm not really sure why I'm surprised. But going into this tournament, it seemed like it'd be a phase G2 final. I guaranteed you thought that that's what it's going to be. We get G2 here, sure. But I don't think anyone considered North being here, considering the fact that they haven't brought their best players, right? You'd expect Compig and Mages Boy to be this sort of tournament. But they're here in the grand final and giving us a very good game so far. G2 now, 14-14, round number 29. We'll see whether they can actually find a match point first. To be occasionally be buying lots of time here from the Chicken Cooper. Once again, the CTs are together, walking in from the steps position. No nades remaining. So Cajun B, once he faces that area, he could find one of the frags. I think this is almost certainly a north round from what I can see, the way it's set up. Easy works his way in. Kenny's on this though. Kenny's actually on this. Oh, he gets it done! 
Kenny's going to get this round. What? And G2 is secured overtime before North can do anything of the game. That's massive. That is Too crazy. slow to get in position. Well done from Kenny. Yeah, just thinking on their feet. They're taking a bit of a gamble there. They don't know where AZ is. They have a feeding of players. A chicken coop bait him out. One player fully defusing. It's out for Shoxy to find the headshot there. But this time, AZ coming out on top. This is for overtime. Can he has to buy himself with a rifle. We're normally using the AWP. And we'll see where we can deliver here. We, it's said, unlikely. we said it was North's game to lose. They very nearly did. Yeah, absolutely. This was 14-12 on a T-sided campaign. Well, we get everything reset at this point. And it's going to be thirst to 19 at the top of your scoreboard. Um, in general, it's going to be, if you're not familiar with overtime rules, we don't swap over the teams just yet. So it will be the CTs sticking with G2, of course, North on the T side here. And if G2 can just find one CT round, they'll be confident they can translate that to a 3-0. So I think that's what they're aiming for. Just getting them one on the board, that could be enough. Occasionally, those locked shocks in by the looks of things. Good flashbang. Yeah, it was a good flashbang. Gets him out of the position. But now he hits Kenny. He's just got to hold up door, and he's going to go do it for them. So that, that'll work. Can you see the, the distinctive change, like different styles we've got from Cajun B when you watch Kenny S as well? Yes. Cajun B just like holds like a turret. He knows he takes calculated risk and takes pretty standard shots, but he hits most of them. Kenny S, very erratic and very flashy, and can win you some crazy rounds that he shouldn't do. Um, and his skill ceiling is probably much higher, but I don't know. In this sort of scenario, I'd rather just the, the, the calm guys just going to hit the shots that really count. You know, we've seen Kenny has missed shots by trying to be too far sometimes. So it's AZ that'll work in from the connector doorway. Finds Kenny immediately on entrance, and shocks will get found out before we can do anything of the bomb. AZ's looking sick. AZ's looking very good. Let me have his frag total. We'll have a look in a second. Let's see what he's got. 23 once again. He's been having some amazing series, and... This is no different as we get into round number three here. Looking for the 3-0 is North. Like we said, if G2 can just get one round here, they'll probably be satisfied with that. Not happening as of yet, 2-0. And a missed shot from Cajun be a chance to get closer to the bomb side. Or not. Mm, doesn't hit the second one, that's all right. Chance though, making his way in from long. Tries to spot the player on the stairs, gets the shot. Reload as he shoulder checks, spots the lagging behind the statue, and he goes aggressive, knows that he's peaked out to the right. Wants him to go back to the left. Bomb is ticking faster and faster and faster. Where's he gone? <laughs> Cajun's quite tricky, isn't he? 3 0 comes in, and we could be resetting the bracket. That's looking likely at this point. The fact they had 3 0, but still moving over to the T side could be double overtime. That's also very he's possible. He's going to redo a veto as well. Is that the way if you convert that? That's the way it was? Uh, I'm assuming. I you assume so? I think they did They did a quite a long veto process Maybe outside. They, already they did probably two. did. Yeah, yeah, I think that makes sense. Vetoes. Um, they uh, they had a massive bit of paper. They're doing it for a while, so I assume that's that's already been done. But um, here we go, match points. Well, I guess sort of match point, reset point, bracket reset point. Let's call it that. There's no veto done for the second series. Well, there we go. There. That's what I've just been told. Kenny takes down Cage and starts it off well as AZ works his way in from the long B platform. First player in front of him. That was easy enough to take down Kenny, but Shucks with a wide peak at the same angle. I think we've got uh, a situation on our hand again, Henry, where there's not going to be too many blunders. We may just go overtime, 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 like PGL always does. Why is that? I don't know. It's just this studio. It, it is this. Well, Drew Mac Bucharest was where the other one was. It wasn't in this studio. Yeah, I guess. It's this production. Ah. Kenny starts it off. This is decent. Again, for G2, it's fine. 17, 18, 18, we do it again. So, last round, is it done now, or is it not? We'll find out. One round will do it for North. Match points. Or oh, double overtime for G2. We'll see what happens here. Kenny has a great position to shut down Cajun. He's managed to sneak by, though. Good timing. Lucky timing, I guess. And we do have AZ coming in from the... Vents now on the balcony. Nade to the site. Maybe he wants to fake out the vent. So Cajun wants to slip in up from the ramp with the AWP as he does so. AZ wants to set for a trade. So they'll play it both coming out from the hut. They've turned their back to long. Missed shot. Gives Cajun a chance to turn on it. This could be enough for it. He's got a trade with Shocks. In the corner under the balcony. Pre fire won't do. It's double overtime indeed. Well then, 3-0 either side just goes to show you how T-sided this map is.
And it was looking so good for the North boys. That's why we're saying if you just get one round on that CT side in overtime, you've got a chance to maybe actually just guarantee the win. win I'm one with round. you, Kenny. I'm going to have a drink of water as well. I need one as well. My voice is getting a bit wrecked. Lots of talking this week. Yeah, there's Sydney, Pro League, now the TV2. Voice is still holding it there just about. Yeah, no, no rest for the wicked, Henry. Oh, wouldn't have it any other way. Well, that's true. That'll that'll do. AZ getting one started CT side. Keep an eye on the CT side of rounds. That's what we're looking for at this point in time. It's shocks. He's in the middle of a no man's land because they're gonna double peek him. He's got nowhere to hide from it. They echo why do I always say echo locate? They triangulate his position. Yeah. Echo locate works like there's a sound cue inside the screen, perhaps, but it's a CT sided round. That may be enough. We'll Maybe. It was possible. We'll see what happens. 19 to 18, 1 0. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, he slipped under. Kenny didn't know he was that close. This is big. But the master of clutch is waiting for them. Is that what he is? Yeah. Imagine He's Zipix in this. Oh my god, imagine Zipix in this. Hmm. Yeah, this is like his bread of butter, isn't it? Oh, he would slaughter them. This is two rounds on the CT side. This has to be enough now, surely. Yeah, Zipix would 1v2 everyone all day. The thing is, as much faster clutch is he's really good at the build up to a clutch. Yeah, like, but then he just goes with device, device goes in, goes wild. Yeah, but like his, his clutch is normally like, if he's in a 2 on or 3 on 1, like, he's so good at working the map and like using the one minute he's got to like yeah, kind yeah, of like, outsmart his opponents and get in their backs. And like, that's what he's really good at. Like, he's not necessarily like the bomb straight away down and then he's like doing some nut stuff. But like, he's just really intelligent, getting good positioning and outsmarting yeah, his yeah, opponents. But I'm sure he'd still be excellent. I think we're wrong. Cajun's got it again. Is North going to reverse sweep? I actually think they might. That's insane. That we just struggled through a CT sided first overtime and regulation. And now. Stick together. Make him shoot. Take him down. Oh, Kenny. Good shot. Nose burn. Easy oh, is. Man. Of course, Kenny. Of course. He's going to give them number 19. And I think there's probably some nice shots being typed in chat. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, chat. Look, look at the really angle. Am. You can see he's almost looking completely vertically there. That's kind of nuts. Yep. Well, 2-1. It, it was looking very likely to be uh, a 3-0, but they put one back just about. It's going to be G2 now heading over to the CT side. Pressure family on their side of the server. 24 kills for Kenny. 22 for Shoxy. 27 for AZ, who's been a little bit quieter recently. But overall, the MVP... After the second map so far, it was Nick to kick things off, but North, who have come from the loser bracket, managing to pick that up. It's a map that G2 have actually played five times, and Solomon now dropping it twice overall. Shoxy, good kill to kick things off, though. AZ now going down. It's going to be Cajun B, who's burning alive a little bit there, but he's actually survived. 2 HP, surely going to be an easy frag, though, for Shoxy, and they're fighting back. It seems like CTs now have worked out what they've got to do. Well... Fuse works. CT side certainly has. If we get all CT sides, I would be kind of surprised by that, if I'm completely honest with you. Bomb has been planted, Bomb has been planted Henry. Haven't heard that yet this weekend. Yeah. They're actually doing it. They could actually freeze zero over the turn. That is unbelievable. If that it's happens. another crazy Oh, Cajun forward. might hold it. Tech 9. Shock's closer. Trying to beat the shots. It's not going to happen. We're going to get 21 rounds for North finally. Match point again. Match point's T side. It's eventually got to give. Surely. A or B. It's going to be B. Nailed it. I'm good at that. I'm good. My voice is on the edge. This is the easier side of the T side as well. Hit this first shot. It's Kenny S with the rifle. Could be before the reset. It's going to be triple A with timeout. It's coming. I'm not sure. C Cajun's got some time. He's definitely got time and room to wiggle. Imagine we get CT sides to force out triple overtime. He's buying room. Time is of the essence. That is all he has to work with. Tech 9 spots a shadow. He's done very well, Cajun. As Kenny's trying to hold the line, he realizes he's got to get closer and support shocks. There's lots of time. There's lots of time. This is triple overtime. It's How would so I have expected any other way? They can't catch a break here, can they? It seemed like they were doing so well. Had the 2-1 on the unfavored side, the CT side as well. But Shoxi and Kenyes fighting back into this one. Triple overtime coming in. So, so this is the, this is the, we talked about this earlier. I think it was yesterday we talked about it, the fatigue element here. You get it so late into the evening. You played so much CS in the day. You're in a grand final. Your adrenaline's always been, expe always already been expended in previous 
best of threes and when you get into this sort of scenario we talked we kind of had the comparison between tennis and the deep games you have there and trying to break the serve being on the the ct side is like breaking the serve you get one round there i would say that's a huge advantage in this sort of overtime scenario that's 21 21 we'll get right back into it Kenny will work his way around the corner. X-ray off, and both there, wide peak. G2 starting off well on the CT side again. Maybe I was wrong to say count them in the last one. Cajun, good shot on Kenny. They're on the bomb already, though. Shocks defusing in the smoke. Kenny, oh, Kenny's dead. Why am I saying his name? It's Shocks instead, as Cajun can't find the angle. There's been so many smoke defuses here in this tournament, and that's another one. Cajun B gets the consolation frag, but overall, it's going to be a 1-0 victory for G2. We'll get into this now. And 4 is either side. Kenny has really kind of getting away from that AWP play. And it's going to be Cajun B, though. He has not got away. It's going to be picking up the first frag, looking to fight back here in the second round. Kenny has worked as well well up beyond mid, all the way past the ramp, gets toward APC, checks table, pre-fire underneath of Romeo. Underneath of Juliet, I should say, at Romeo, as Kenny will take down AZ on the site. It's Kenny Cajun that's going to hold things down. Locking down the fort is Cajun B. Oh no, tie things up once again. This round is huge, obviously, if the CTs can get this, we might just get to that in map. If you're not familiar with the rules so far, and maybe some of you are not, just following the grand final, just to see what's going on here, we don't do retake for the third, we go into an aim map, which is M4s, AKs, and AWPs as well. It's just a straight up symmetrical aim map, but it's going to be normal to find the 2-1 here in the first half, but that's actually pretty decent, all things considered for G2. Just one round on the board is enough. We've seen plenty of 3 zeros here on Cobblestone. In the 2v2 we take tournament here, powered by HCC and PGL. Yeah, I've run HTC phones for the last 10 years. No, probably not that long. I would say the last six years at least. So I quite like it. I quite like it. Look at the number at the top of the scoreboard, Henry. That's a 23 and a 22 as the bomb goes down. We've swapped it over. North. What do you got for us? So we start 21-21, so what's the magic number now, Henry? I've lost track. Is it 25? Yes. Take your word for it. 23-23 is where we are now. I got a feeling G2 wins this. We go to a third. They should do. 3-0 um, definitely very possible here. So after this one, to pick it up. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be match point. So AZ now. After the two versus one, I think aim out is very possible. And we'll see what that's. 20, I see 25. It's 24, right? Yeah, it's 24 now. That's going to be match point. Yeah, okay. And then one right. more for 25. One man, more for the oh win. Man, I have, I have lost my mind. Well, okay. Don't make jokes. I've already lost my mind months ago, Henry. Here it is. G2 to close things out here. They've got the Kenny S orb once again. Found that confidence. And let's see if he can thin it, finish things off here. Going aggressive as well. He wants he wants information as fast as possible. This is something Shocks talked about when he was on the desk in the last game, is trying to get information because you don't have it. It's not like a typical retake. It's not like a typical post plant where you had calls going on throughout the entirety of the round. You have to find information to ascertain that quickly. Shocks in the stable. He's going to wait this as well. Bomb ticking. This is all the pressure on. North, good start. Now they need to find shocks. They need to check behind the stables. They'll do so easy. He's got it. And guess what, Henry? We've got more overtime. Just what the doctor ordered. Quad overtime, it seems, on Cobblestone. No one can get away with this one. It's a 2-1 favor for G2 going into that one. And unfortunately, they can't quite close it out. AZ had been sensational in terms of the clutches so far a great tournament for him started off on day one the first few games looked a little bit shaky quite nervous couldn't quite hit the shots and more of what we've seen in terms of his recent performances and then as the tournaments progressed as they got a little bit deeper he's come to life here occasion b just kept the dream alive just long enough to allow his teammate to find this sort of form he is going to be on 29 frags occasion b on 30 as well so they're both playing very well indeed it's occasion b go aggressive towards middle they'll still be on the ct side that brings reset once again Shocksy finding that first frag. Two on one now for the aforementioned Young Dane. So Easy will walk his way toward the site. On our 49th round. As he starts to spot in behind. He knows they're both there. He's waiting for the secondary peak from Shocks rather than trying to go onto the site direct. Make it underneath him. Good shot back up. Takes Kenny. Oh, he's going to stick this. It's got to be a wraparound. Shocks has no idea. He's going to stick this. Shocks, you're late. You're late to the party. Or Dead. are you? He's it. got it. Way to go. Way to go, young man. Perfect defuse there. It was actually, I think, like, 
half less than half a second in that one. Shocks he knew that could be a possibility. He runs around the corner and it's going to be North finding the first round here of quad overtime. We're going to round number two, 25-24. Let's see as this progresses, what goes down here. Oh, he's been inflicted just yet. Another very fast Kenny S headshot there with the AWP. Shoxy now takes some okay, initial damage with the Molotov and manages to deliver as we get into round number three. It's one all and G2 on the easier side for now. I'm sure you've heard us say that about a million times this tournament, but just in case there's new viewers, you know? Yeah, absolutely. No, it absolutely is. Yeah. No question, but a bomb down instantly. Let's hit the post plant. You got to walk in, get information in both directions. Smoke goes down as well. Think about that. T-sided smoke at a post plant with a Molotov. This is the dream setup. They have both of the most powerful utilities. But it is still a 1v1. Easy as well. Spots. I take that back. Why did I say that? Shox is alive. Spots Kenny immediately. Shox is low. Doesn't need to peek from the rock. They'll just wait. Timing's perfect. Shox is a bit far removed if he was able to take Kenny first. There you go. Molotov down. There he is. Round done. 25-25, we're going to swap, I take that back, excuse me, 25-26. Yes. We'll swap over. Yeah, G2 getting the 26th round at that point. So 2-1 in total for them. So. 28 is our GG, 27-27. Yeah. We go again, Henry. Could happen. Very well could. Could happen. Of course it wouldn't have final. What a fitting way, what a fitting way to end it. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. Like we said, though, fatigue definitely an issue here. Like these guys, um, been here since about 10 o'clock this morning, so we'll see. We'll see what happens as we go forward. It's going to be one round required from G2 to get the match point once again, or map point, I should say. They're looking for the third as we get into this once more. It's going to be easy, though, to find the first kill. He takes down Shoxy. Kenny has might as well go for it now. M4 in hand, no warp this time, and he has to make a lot of noise. He can't really mess, mess around. And an easy kill from Cajun B. That's going to be 26 26. One more from. Uh, you want to think I'm about sorry, that? I'm trying to work it out now. Two more for either side. One more for each, and we okay. go again. Hi. Bomb planted. How's it going? We're Have all here there. with all of our friends. Got Paula, the you're one of my friends too. You Pussy Patrol is here as well. P Pussy Patrol. Yeah. Is that the, your name of your new band? Yeah. Your new. Are you the front man? Of course. In Pussy Patrol, because you seem like a backdoor man to me. <laughs> <laughs> Az. Meanwhile, tries to get a shot toward the balcony. No one immediately confronting that. Matter of opinion for AZ. I don't even know what that means at this point. There's a gap in the wall that he tries to peek with. It doesn't even matter. There's so much damage done. Shocks may be able to take him instantly. Does. But has to hold off on the fact that Cajun's going to peek back out. He's tapped it. He's faked it. Cajun goes. Goes again. Shocks can't hit. Will do so now. But the bomb will explode. It's North Smap Point on a T side. Surely this is it. Oh, why'd you say it, you dick? No, we won it. You jinxed it. We wanted to go to uh, Penta over time. Here we go. And fours in hand. Cajun B, smoke towards connector. This is looking perfect for the north side so far. This would be the bracket reset, and we need the best of three all over again. Easy now. Here we go. Two versus one. Cajun B strikes first with the orb. He has to take some damage in return, but Shoxy now. Very tall order. This should be it. The time's ticking away. He has to strike right now. It's done. He's done for. That's it. Bracket reset. Up. Well done, North. We got a reset. We got another best of three. They 2 OG2 from the lower bracket, and that does mean we get to another veto, and we do it all again. It also means we bring back in our lovely desk host, Pocahontas. Put on the headset, Paul. I can't hear you. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. Testing, testing. One, two, three. No longer Pocahontas. Actually, no. Yeah, I still am, technically. I thought the braids were really what made that uh, characteristic shine, but no, I, it's, I guess that's just long hair in general, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So, we do it, another I'm veto. I'm glad you let the braids out. It's nice to see your natural flow. Your well, I like state. the braids, but the thing with the braids that by the end of the day, everything was all over the place. So we're just going with normal ponytail. Guys, what a marathon we have just witnessed. That was only two maps. Yeah, and it felt like, uh, well, how many rounds what that was total? that total? Uh, we were... 27, 25, what's yeah. that? That's like 52. Yeah, 52. Yeah, it's a long old game, that one. Cobblestone has done that quite a lot this tournament. Um, so, yeah, that's all for not really now because we're going to be completely reset in more ways than one. The fact is now we do the veto once again. Could be the same maps, could be not. And now it's going to be north of on the same level as G2. G2 came into this with a series advantage, and you'd think, from what we've seen from them so far, that would be the case. They'd actually just take that at 2-0. That's what I thought. But we're going to do it all over again.
Yeah, and, and I'm excited to do it all over again. I think that if this is anything to go by, North is in really good shape right now. A few mistakes. I said that it was their game to lose. Put it in overtime. They thankfully recovered from that. But it's, um, yeah, I think Shox is, and, and Kenny have got some work to do. Especially Kenny. He's missing a few shots on the yeah, off. Early shots seem to be struggling. I definitely feel like at this point the fatigue set in. Like You can see that they're missing shots and making plays that they wouldn't have otherwise done earlier in the competition. Anything else you want to say? Cajun, ha yeah, no. We'll have you seen? Have you seen the beaver? Yes, the beaver's just relaxing backstage, waiting Chilling for out. his time. Uh, Relaxing, taking his it easy. To come, to come back up. He will be here very soon, joining us, and we will get everything underway. Uh, but first, yes. Tell for me that, more. we have some moments to talk, recollect ourselves. And uh, see exactly where oh, this. Oh, we are doing a up. full reset, Hank. The veto is exactly the same. Exactly the same. Well, oh no, that's not good for G2. I don't think it might be. They uh, were very good on Nuke normally. Mm. All right. Well, Matt Henry. Only time will tell, and we still have some time left. We're going into another best of three because North came from the losers bracket final, meaning they basically have to beat. G2 twice, and we're going to see that second time very soon. We're going to take a break so that everyone, including the players and ourselves, can recollect our thoughts, and we will be back shortly. So don't go anywhere.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the <laughs> HTC 2v2 Invitational by I like your jacket. I am Chad Sponge Birchall, your beautiful, amazing first-time host, also known as the Beaver, joined <coughs> once more by Matthew Satticus Trivet and Henry Greer, the Big G Unit. I thought you were going to go. We are going really into the career. second best of three of the grand final as North have pulled off a stunning victory and managed to take the night even longer, to which everybody backstage is rejoicing at fantastic Counter Strike. Would you like and a you at drop? home are loving it. Would you like a cough drop? I would not like a cough drop because okay. I don't need a cough because I'm excited, Matthew. Are you excited? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm enjoying this actually. This let's is do it. where did this come from, Chad? Well, I I'm being currently Mr. Broccoli's in the way. Broccoli, so what will you have here? <laughs> we'll get him out of get him out of the way. But guys, that was that was stunning, that wasn't was it? Great. The, we, what was I'm it? Quadruple with overtime? How North, uh, it was 52 rounds we played. Yeah, um, few, I'm few impressed played with today. how how much North has built into this. They're they're reveling in this. This is again. You guys said at the start of this tournament, right. this isn't even the duo you would have expected from North. You would have expected Majesk, yeah. maybe Kit Config. These guys are killing it right now. We just have a quick Ooh. little uh, raffle we have to do, or not that we have to, right. do, but we would love to do. So you at home can win some prizes. We have the M four A four house contraband. Yeah, you gotta love that one. It's a beautiful skin. Uh, what is the nickname of the PGO producer guy with the bat? Question mark. Raffle with nickname your answer. Nickname or real name. Uh, maybe, all right, let's go with the alias, I suppose. Is it the alias or is it is it IRL name? Um, Mr. Producer. Let's see what they come up with. Everyone's just putting raffle. No one actually knows. Raffle Dan. Raffle, <laughs> raffle, raffle. <laughs> no one has it. <laughs> he hasn't that. said either. He hasn't He hasn't given um, me the, the hot tip. Ooh, there was one that was close, but it's not, tr it's not the rhymes, right. Okay, so we have two options. One yep. of it rhymes with glad. Um, the other one. One of them rhymes with bad. Which is kind of what he is as a producer. Oh, that's the baseball bat coming out. Yeah, I'm definitely that's about coming. to get wrecked in a minute. Yeah, that's well. Uh, either way, I, I do. We need to give more hints because we need we need to make sure that the raffle that it will be given away. Well, you might as well be telling them at that point. Okay. I well. thought it was a howl, right? It's, that's that's one of the most uh, prestigious. Well, I won't skins. tell. Them. I'll just enter myself like I did with the chair. Oh, I've talked about that. that's I see. You <laughs> cheeky bugger. Cheeky Speaking bugger of mind. buggering assholes, <laughs> North did a great job of buggering G2s. They did. I don't even think. Did they use powder? Uh, definitely not. Went in that dry. That was, was some pillow biting guy. No talc used there. That they was were just teasing a straight a bit, up though. spanking from Spank. the start to finish, yeah. Like uh, full, full on handprint left on the back? Uh, I would say a paddle. A paddle? Yeah. You can, get, you can get some good well did marks. Did it have spikes on the paddle? <laughs> yeah, no spikes. We're live! Oh, God. Let's get ready to rumble the final best of three of the day. Yeah. Live. Thank you so much, Chad. We're back in the eSports Arena. It's the 2v2 tournament by HTC and PGO. It's going to be nuked. The same map pool. It's the second best of three in the grand final. Shocksy and Kenny S on the CT side once again. Occasion being easy. There you go. The bomb down. The spray comes in once again. These smokes have been so tricky. A lot of damage inflicted to get things off. Good pickup from Shox. Takes down easy to start it. They're on the defuse. Cajun doesn't know if we might get a smoke defuse to start no! it off. Cajun with a Glock. Takes Kenny back and Shox. He's going to try and chase this down, or is he? He's going to do the exact same thing all over again. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> you open the door, he's staring, uh, staring at you. Well done. Cop that uh, Glock 18. Are you staying with us, Chad? I like it. Yeah, yeah. I like keep you guys keep company. Strong. I know that uh, insanity is something which uh, is quickly ensued by the two of you. Cajun now prowling the back vents. Not lion-like, some would say more like a, uh, a tiger. The long grass, or maybe maybe a raptor. Stay out of the long grass. Stay out of the long grass. That's a Jurassic Park reference. Neither of you got true. it. That's true. No, I, I do. Now you've brought it up, I do get it. I never watched that movie. I didn't like them. There were several of them, and didn't uh, like any of them. Did we scared of dinosaurs, Matthew? Um, no, I just didn't. I wasn't a fan of scary movies. I never have been. It's yeah, not that I get scared. Park's it's just really I don't like scary. them. scary. It's more... Um, when you're a little kid, it can be. But it inspires awe, and you're the same age as me, so it's not like... It had Newman in it. I know Hank's a big Seinfeld fan. Yeah, Newman was in there. That's I'm actually uh, uh, older than you by six months, Chad. Cappuccino. <laughs> Kenny S. 
happy that that Molotov dunked down the ladder there, giving him a chance to prowl with that AWP. Flush is about to come out, but I was only joking. He dropped on the side! Quick scope wow. onto Cajun wow. B. AZ returning fire. Will grab shocks, and a 1v1 is quickly happening on this A bomb site. Ooh, dancing yep, around absolutely. the dildo, and Kenny is going to pick up the defuse. You know, we were being serious because it was the finals until you showed up, right? Yeah, I'm, bringing, I'm, the, I'm the comedy. I'm the fun. The hype man. I'm the man from down under who's bringing You're the, you the cunt. thunder. Is that what you are? Whoa, come on, guys. Family show. <laughs> if you're the cunt, I'm the dick. How you doing? Uh, oh. Oh, Henry's the <laughs> asshole, so that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got I, I, I get to fuck both of you. Yeah? Oh my, oh my, oh. Depends what you're packing. <laughs> Find out. Where, how have we got here? It was good. We were doing so well. Why do we have the same maps? Did they choose to. The, the it was a beat to again, so they must have just chosen the same map. I said, yep, yeah, look, we'll, we'll beat you twice in your own backyard. <laughs> oh. uh, variety's the spice of life. Well, for now, G2 looking solid. 3 1 on the CT side of Nuke. You'd love to see it. Kenny S back on the up and his confidence once again. Depends on who you're a fan of, Henry, because if you're a North fan, you might hate to see it. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm a fan of Counter-Strike, so I love Me to Me too, it. that's why there's overtimes going on really... Uh, oh yeah, I already got you going, did yeah. I? I can imagine you on the edge of your seat, <laughs> jumping around. The hairs on my arm were standing up, Henry. Yeah. I didn't know which way it was going to land in North, really taking us uh, over that threshold. Kenny loves uh, loves to push the boundaries. I think his safe word is uh, Parlez-vous Francais. <laughs> yeah, pushes out to the top side. Azy will clobber him down, and uh, we're looking at a another round for North. We are indeed, AZ. He's been pretty special this time, I have to say. Looking like he um, very rarely misses a shot. Very quick at the AK-47. That's been his main weapon, I would say, overall. Really nice all shot there from Kenny S to find Cajun B. K easy though. Let's see how special he can be here. Molotov available to him. Needs to find one kill first. There's a lot of damage, and the Molotov's good. Oh, that's oh, actually... Is it? Oh, that's great Get observing. Get wrecked, that. Molotov. That was very good observing. Shows exactly where it was when it was extinguished. Kenny and Chucks loving it. They're going to pick up another round. The CTs are running <laughs> with <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, croissant. I like the baguette. I would love a croissant and a baguette. Oui, oui. Might wake up early tomorrow and have some brekkie. I had the, some brekkie. Uh, I had some brekkie with you yeah, this morning. Yeah, it's a rushed breakfast, but we got. Well, mine was rushed. I think yours was actually quite good. You had a you had a full. Serve. I made like two little ham and cheese rolls. They're quite nice. With our shoes. Were they on a croissant? No, I should have had a croissant though. I haven't had the fresh egg station. Maybe tomorrow I'll take the time. I'll get over there. I'll say, look, mate, want a want a bit of an omelet? Give me some onion. Give me some ham. Give me a bit of cheese. Wow, Pick that's that sad. Up. Have a little nibble. No, I agree. That's oh, unreal. Shocks they were on it. Shocks the whole time. Az gets it through the door. Doesn't even matter. That's another round G2. They're just stacking them up. Stack, just stack it stacking up. Stacking them up. Gotta love me some good stacks. Pancake stacks. At IHOP in the United States. Extra maple. It's more right. of a waffle. AZ finding a power position right now where he likes to be. Large and in charge. Looking towards the ladder. No enemies are coming from that quadrant of the map. We have one hut, one enemy. The hut player goes down. Shocks quickly exchanges a frag. And now, Cajun is. We'll win the spam battle. Cajun there with a whiff. He's gonna be regretting that one in the morning. <laughs> well, right. It is the morning. So uh, It is the morning. He's regretting yeah. it now. It is one thirty uh, a.m. Couldn't be more poignant, could it? Sorry, what did you say? One thirty-eight. One thirty-eight a.m. It's one twenty. One twenty-six. Is your clock bloody broken, mate? Yeah. I just rounded it up. I think you're one, uh, why? What? You rounded? You said, it, you 36. said thirty-eight. No, I didn't. I said one twenty. Let's not question this now, guys. I said one thirty a.m. Tell me what he said. I thought he said oh, thirty-eight. Oh no, I'm with him. I know what he meant. Anyhow, that's splitting hairs, and you know who's not? Shocks. Kenny's he split heads. It's gonna be Cajun going down as well. G2's gotten seven rounds CT side. Were they just flirting with North in the first best of three? Maybe, making it more tantalizing. Chat says you said 138. Well, I misheard him. It doesn't really matter, does it? It, do it does. I'm gonna take this to the grave. I refuse to li let you live it down, Henry. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's getting grim in the studio. So back to you. <laughs> back to you in the not studio. Did you hear FNX is uh, potentially leaving Immortals? Yeah, I don't know if that's the right topic for right now, but yeah, interesting nonetheless. 
Kenny S takes down AZ. That'll bring us into a situation where it's now going to be eight rounds for G2. This is insane. They're just obliterating them on the retakes. Right? Yeah. What's going on? I'm sure. Kenny S starting to all the shots once again. And actually, nice placing with the incendiary towards the main entrance. Left the remaining two. And no real option to win the round. It's going to be round number 11 here. 8 2. All coming on towards Evan once again. He's looking much flashy this time. Not so cagey. He's trying to hit another shot here. Fires it off. Can't find AZ just yet. Shock 2 will be Molotov out of the hub position. Flashbang comes in. And here we go then. The retake will begin. First interaction and AZ coming on the top. Drop down. Kenny hits that shot last time. This time he won't. KGB is able to get it. Finally, North get a round back to their name. It's going to go 8 to 3. I'm, I'm wondering if there's a chance in it for North at this point. They've pretty much got to win out this half, do they not? They've had to dig real deep here to get to this point. And uh, I think Henry was mentioning it earlier. How depleted you get. Just like tennis, I think, was your analogy, Henry. Couldn't be more accurate. Well, tag. There you go. tag comes out. Does tag uh, AZ somehow? Makes his way onto the rafters. Sharks. Tag down at 19. AZ getting the shot on Kenny. Should be able to close out Sharks. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Nine rounds, G2. Looking very good. And uh, I guess this is the the real grand final. Where everything's been reset. Everyone's on a level playing field. And North did a great job to reset the bracket, but GT now running away with it. In the second showing, we have the same maps, and this is the first one of you are just joining us. It's 9-3, and just to give you the gravity of that situation, this is a very T-sided affair, and they're looking great right now on the CT side. And I'll have a look at the frag charts just after this, as we finish around number 13. AZ watching the hut, he's going to be backing him up as well. Nice little crossfire there, but Shoxy's coming towards heaven. He's going to waste a lot of time, he's going to walk all that way. Running down the clock here. Flash comes out of the hut. Looks like Shoxie is continuing. It's apprehensive, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's undecided right now. You need to we're be decisive in these situations. We're, we're seeing what Shox was talking about earlier with the spawns on Nuke a little bit in that if you're coming in from heaven, you may want to consider alternate angles and rotating around. And Calyx was trying to do that with Zontaras. It costed Zontaras a bit because he then had to play a bait and draw a lot of time yeah, out until Calyx got that. in position. So... Shox now is left alone in that in that situation when he ever finally arrives at Annex or Bit uh, as he called Bit uh? Bit uh, yeah. Bit uh. uh Kenny with twelve frags, I think Shox was trailing behind a little bit, whereas the guys on the north are more even in the distribution right now in this two uh, v two environment. Very slow rounds right now. I'm not sure if they're just trying to, to make North maybe get a bit aggressive and, and, and second guess themselves. They're leaving it down to the wire, but it's like a spurt out of heaven. Uh, like um, oh, with some gooey go. goodness and uh, gooey goodness. finish him off. Gooey goodness out of heaven. That's what we like to see here in the grand final. Every round number 15. Final round of the first half here. North back on the double AK setup. Bombs down, of course. It's going to be a fast round for Cajun B. As Kenny has tries to run out the door, and we've lost track of shots. And here he comes. Then Cajun B, too good, it seems. And he said it'd be 9 6. They kind of pulled it back towards the end. It was looking a little bit grim for them, and still anyone's yeah. game. That's a ring nuke. It looks like a small little grin on Cajun B's face, but I think he knows it's a, it's a, gr a grim grin. Do you like how I got dressed up for uh, the, the grand final? I think you look great, Chad. Thank you. You're welcome. Since you pride for that compliment. Someone has to go fishing once in a while. It's true. I don't have any aces. Do you have any eights? Go fish. Henry, do you have any eights? Go fish. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 All right. Cajun Bizzle. He's going to be retaking from the lobby entrance while uh, his good mate, AZ Pizzle, is coming up the ladder, creeping up nice and slow. Ooh, Kenny's going to spot the head there with the AWP. He's going to bob back down like a whack-a-mole to reappear at a later time. Cajun, ever slow, looking for a frag, but uh, the pace is really, really winding down here in the second half. Shock will eventually find that fag frag. <laughs> I heard the R. It was a hard <laughs> R, hard R. Good hard R in that case, Chad. And a one-on-one -on -one between Shocks and AZ. Gonna get crazy. That's one to the system. It's a shock to the system. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> and we'll see whether Shoxie can keep it up here. Um, we do move on the cobblestone if required. Well, we will be moving on soon. That is required. Regardless, this is the first map. Getting a bit lost here. But um, Shoxie does make his way in towards uh, the Econ door there. Nade will come in to blow it out. Occasionally now working with AZ as he goes towards that area. He can't find the frag. Shoxie beats him to it. Goes down to 8 HP. KNS waiting in towards Toxic. Open hand. 
This should be an open shut case in terms of this round. And GG finding 11 with time taking away. Cajun B has to find two players and it's full defuse. And oh, okay, Kenny gives position away early. He does, doesn't he? I don't think there's much that they can really do. Kenny's tried, okay, old toxic style when you used to bounce off the sidewall. It's a little bit deeper inside the current toxic room, so you can't quite get away with it. Kenny oh. just doing everything he can to be a nuisance. He certainly oh. is. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> Not it bad. would just be if G2 were able to shut them out from this point, which they they managed to put up quite a quite a good lead on that that CT half. It would be very impressive because in that last uh, last two maps, they not lackluster, but they didn't have the the gusto, I guess, to to finish the gusto. Match. Good one. Yeah, that's all right. Not yeah, bad. Eleven six. G2 now homing in on their first map victory in this grand final. Strange thing to say, but okay, Aids has got something else to say about it. It's going to be Shockty now, two versus one once again. That's nice shot plan. there. That's a brilliant shot. Oh. You said that was a bad plan based on positions, but the problem is, you, okay, well, we talked about this earlier. Henry was saying, was it you? You were saying Henry, right? What's that? He was surprised more people weren't moving the bomb. Oh, that was, was that me. you? That was you did me. say yeah, that, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, yeah, we discussed the idea there yesterday as well. Yeah. Um, the fact is, you, you do. I'm not sure how this this particular mod works. Some of them make you plant instantaneously. Uh, no. So watch right there. 15 seconds. You have to. Plan. Right. So he, he can wait. He so could, wait could go somewhere else. I think the issue on nuke is you arrive so quickly at the doorways. If you were to wait, you get caught actually planting. Yeah, and I think probably behind the bomb box is a good plant because it's one of the safest places to get the bomb down. But more curious is the way you play in the after plant situation. You need to know that you're going to be able to pick that frag. And uh, shocks wasn't up to the challenge there. Well, one is off. Okay. Kenny okay. getting it done on his own. Four HP remaining. Four is a good number. It's uh, one more than three and one less than five. Is it the number of the day? Maybe the number of the day. Okay. Uh, probably not the time we're going to finish. <laughs> Could be at this rate. Four times four is sixteen, and that's the number of rounds we need. Easy's gonna slip in slowly. In a one versus two, Kenny's extremely low. So that Molotov, it's a tick off. Yeah, well. didn't, miss, didn't even hit the vent. He's not done himself well here. He's not happy with this one. Either. No, and open the doors. You now. Good job by Shoxi. Ruga will be having words to him about that one. Yeah, not happy with the decision yeah, making. He's gonna, gonna take him out the back and. Spank him. Give him the belt. Oh, not the belt. Anything but the belt. The belt's a scary prospect, isn't it? It's a weapon, an accessory. It's very versatile it's item. Choking, I think, as well. Oh, can you? Yeah, well, well. yeah, you could. You definitely can, but you got to make sure you don't put it on too tight. You can't get it off in time. Do you guys ever try handcuffs? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, I haven't, Jen. And, and you, Chad? No. Should we have a go tonight? Don't lose the key is all Maybe I can say. Tonight, if you have yeah. a real set, don't lose the key. Wouldn't it that gets be awkward? very awkward. Yeah. yeah. It's very awkward. It's very, it's very awkward. <laughs> Getting yourself down to Locksmith next day. Um, <laughs> um, that's not what it looks like. Locksmith actually doesn't have a key for handcuffs. No, but he'd cut them off, yeah, you, wouldn't he? Exactly. You could cut them off, but then they're still on your... Yeah, you could cut all the way through it. You just go to the police station and say, hey, uh, so here's the situation. I was having Sorry, some officer. raunchy intercourse, and uh, the key ended up down an orifice and we can't seem to retrieve it. <laughs> down an orifice? Or up one, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Shout out to Alex Nair. Definitely watching. Well, Sean's <laughs> inside of the site hasn't moved since the bomb's gone down. He's still waiting for the entrance from heaven. He'll find it easy. Hitting the ground dead. He left the high above with life inside of his body. That's been taken away. Kenny's going to do the same. This is going to put it to 14 for G2. It's a heads-up brawl at this point. We've had a reset already. This is our second best of three in the grand final. Absolutely is. Well, 14 aids. And now looking for map points after the full reset. North have dropped off significantly, I have to say. We had quite a quick turnaround in terms of getting this next best of three started. AZ trying to get towards our window room. Can't make it happen. It's now Cajun B, who's been winning back-to-back -back clutches, it seems, especially on Nuke in the first showing. First go to tap the bomb, and can't make it happen. It's going to be 15A now for G2. Looking very comfortable, I have to say. Much more um, exciting to see them on this showing of Nuke than in the first best of three. They actually looked a little bit overwhelmed, Would I have you to say, say this is full control now, Henry? I would say, my friend, this is full control. Mm. That's what you like to see in Counter-Strike. Uh, people really taking it to their opponents. Kenny and Shox on this last round going to be playing together in the decon door and this is quite a good decision as the smoke will come out it's going to displace one of the players Shox flanking behind the vent this gives him an opportunity with the Molotov delaying 7 seconds but AZ knows the jig is up AZ's got Shox 
Kenny opens the oh, door. Gun barrel showing. Can't do anything of it because AZ's held him off. So they'll fight to see another round. Not another day. We're going to end at some point today, I promise. We are in the next one. We are on so. the next day. We've got uh, 23 hours and uh, 23 minutes. Mathematics. Two plus two plus four. That's it. Yeah, what's that from? Chad. Alrighty. Let's tie it up, shall we? Big host dog, Chad, back in the, uh, the, the, the seat. The big seat. The host chair. The throne. The throne, as it, uh, as it were. That's G2 taking the first map and the second best of three. That's going to relieve a lot of pressure there. They were uh, down two in a row with North showing some stunning resilience on the, the first BO3. And for them to take it to this point in the game is, is quite impressive. But if they want to take home the cold hard cash to buy those jet skis, they're going to have to put in a little bit more effort. Yeah, I don't know if you're aware, but like the new four-stroke turbo jet skis cost more than 10k. I was thinking just like an old skidoo. Oh, yeah, you can buy an old one, like a, a Millennium two-stroke Bombardier for probably 2200 bucks now. Yeah, well, if obviously the, the 10K, they need a trailer. Maybe they need to, you know, That's hire, probably a trailer, hire a car right? for That's the weekend trailer. as Jet well. Jet ski trailers are cheap. You gotta get down to the, to the beach or the, the lake. Use Cajun's Maybe Tesla. It's got good torque. It Does it? Yeah, electric Speaking has great torque. torque. Henry, can you take over? Uh, yeah, what's the next? I'm not the host. So oh, know, sorry. What's going um, next. So next will be Cobblestone once more. Okay. And if G2 are able to take this map, we will see them as the victors and Shocks retaining the title of the HTC, uh, I guess, Invitation of God. Yeah, that would be fine. Yeah. He, um, won the, he won the vibe earlier as well, so it'd be a, a clean sweep for him. That's like everything. why he, uh, he brought the king hat, right? Because he's king from last time. He's hoping to ret retain his throne. Yeah, and doing a good job. looking good now as, uh, you know, maybe they were just uh, getting to the second best of three for shits and giggles. Yeah, they wanted to just give him a chance, you know. False sense of security. <laughs> Why not, eh? Yeah, <laughs> see, uh, see how late we can make this go. Well, Chad, what's next? I don't actually have any information. I just assume we're just going to chill out, maybe talk a little bit about the game. Hey, I need to use the toilet today. Is there any you chance can of go, a break? just go. Yeah. I'm I, giving you permission as the host. Right. That's if you want to go, you go. Uh, I it's like I'll school, you know, in school. You how there's up your hand up. And yeah, you have to put your hand up. No, you don't have to put it. High school, when I was in high school, it was if you need to go take a slash, just go. Don't ask the yeah. question. Don't really interrupt the class. We're all adults here. We're here to learn. If you're not here you're to not learn, really get the fuck out. You're not really in high school, though. In Australia, maybe we look at our um, students differently, treat them with a bit more respect. But no, if you want, if you want to go, Henry, feel free. That's fine. Well, I'll wait till we get the next update and I'll work out what's going on. Okay. Um, maybe Vlad now that he need, knows you he need to urinate, he's just thinking, "Geez, let's see him piss himself." This could be the highlight of the day. Yeah, it could be. It could be the highlight. Uh, you know, we've, we've had some touch and go moments. It's uh, it's been a rough one. Some would say. What's been your uh, highlight of the, the two days? Uh, we had this earlier. I'll change my answer. Oh, I, I, said, sorry. I said Susan was a good one earlier. And he said great. Calix. Yeah. Um, I'll try and th mix things up. What else has been good? The resurgence of AZ has been nice. We talked about yes, his form. Actually, yes. His form was very poor, generally speaking, the last few months. Yep. And now he came into this tournament looking nervous and oh, shaky. Well, back into it. And um, You slip I, off if you need. No, it's okay. I, I, can last, I can last him up. It's okay. Okay. There's no no messing about here. You'll be back in no time, Henry. Matt Kenny and, and I, one on the all right. Chad okay, and I, I, got I got your red button. Don't worry, you're gone. Take the blue pill in the morning. I have to. It's part of my uh, my Isn't life. Isn't the now. blue pill Viagra? Anyway, uh, Kenny, no. gonna hit a tag on that of uh, AZ trying to come in from the platform. We'll grab one on Cajun, and now AZ with no HP really can't get a lot done here. He's gonna get crossfired out by Shocks playing over towards that rock. And uh, the first round of the second map going in the favor of the Frenchman, the Baguette Kings. You're really running with this, aren't you, Chad? The Frenchman? Just everything. Oh, someone's got to do it. I, th I agree. Keep going. Oh, All right, I'll keep going. Yeah, you, Kenny you S. Take plants. It you, you get involved. AWP, he's going to hold up on top of the hut. It's going to be Shocks as well, working in from inside of the actual hut. I did that twice. You see, I'm, I've lost track of the map. What do you know what rhymes with hut? Smut, ah, but there you go. Big cut, go. rut. Kenny's Kenny. got AZ down, mm. starting it off well again. G2 picking up two rounds. T side, not unsurprising. Remember, it is the exact same map, two maps we just played. Yeah, the the big thing for me was it looked like G2 were coming back on that CT side. They put a lot of rounds on the board, and then uh, was snatched away. And we saw it in the in the previous match today with these two teams where Kenny snatched it away with that jumping uh, five seven frag to put it into overtime. So these guys have had very, very close matches on Cobblestone here. Good play and, shocks. Uh, it's it's good to see. Highly contested Counter-Strike. That's, that's what we live for. Eyes North run out of gas. 
Well, uh, that's that's a great question. That, the answer is no, because he drives a Tesla. I just told you that. I was testing you. Don't they need to have uh, gas as well? Then? No, Teslas are 100% electric. They're 100% electric. Yeah, they're not really? hybrids. You get a really good tax rebate cars. in Denmark, I think, if you, you buy a Tesla. You do, uh, yeah. in most places. You don't have to pay tax to go into the center of London. I'm sure Henry, if you were here, would tell you all about it. Yep. Uh, you don't have to pay tax in California. You have a much different tax in California. Yep. AZ, meanwhile, going to slip back in, but Kenny's already holding the angle. G2 undefeated thus far. They're looking real good. I think that's probably the best way to describe the situation right now. North don't even have a frag on the board. Welcome back, Henry G. How are you doing? Yeah, very well. Thank you, Hank. <laughs> Good well, to we were trying to pretend <laughs> like you didn't leave. <laughs> but uh, no, anyway, now we've got you gone. back to you in the studio. How's it going, lads? 4-0. This is looking good for G2. And even better there. Not bad at all. Yeah, you know what Creamy Moses would say. I, I know what he would say. We can't repeat that on the airways. Well, we fucking said everything else this weekend. Why can't we repeat that? Moses is next level BM. Yeah, you don't want to know what that guy's up to at this point. Talk about his big daddy Donald Trump powdering the bottoms of the rest of the world. Especially North Korea. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Didn't know we were going that. But yeah, we. I mean, this was this was going. And this is a great final until we brought the Beaver back. Should we trade him out for Paula? <laughs> no, the Beaver's doing a good job. He's he's bringing the the comic relief. We, I'm we doing a need. bit of everything. Yeah. Do the play-by-play, -play, the host. I've done some interviews. How did you find the interviews? The interviews are less stressful than play-by-play. -play. I think I don't think I, I found this, the interview stressful. I've never done them before. It's just for me, like the play-by-play. -play, you need to be really witty, and when you're sitting with someone like Matt, who who's able to to spew genius time and time again, it makes me feel like a moron. You are a moron. Danke schön. Danke, danke, danke. Then you say bitte schön. I don't speak German. Mm. I just say you're welcome. You need to have a few niceties. G2 running away with this one. Six rounds up. Here's 6 0. The big donut coming out for the boys on North. Yeah, it's a struggle city for them right now. Yeah. That's the what I'm saying. It's coming out on Cajun. I think they felt that they were being penetrated a little bit too harshly by uh, that of Kenny's. And now AZ's head is going to be taken off by Shocks as he's pushed up into that balcony area. Cajun now searching with the orb. Knows where one player is and assumes that the other must be close by. Has kind of uh, managed to get into the back lines. If he finds this frag on the side, he could stick the defuse. He oh, will find Kenny, no, no, who's no, no. going did, for some did, kind of crazy did play. Did you see it? The gun barrel stuck through the wall. As soon as Cajun got close, his op was sticking through the wall. That nade could do it. Hadouken! Touchdown! Oh, not quite. It's over already. He can't defuse that, this my is, friend. Uh, it was time, but... I don't know if we can get a replay of that, but yeah, when he walked around the corner, the op was sticking well, through Kenny the wall. Kenny did change to a Molotov to throw on the bomb. It's a little bit silly. Um, Just shoot the guy. You're silly. 7-0 now. James Bond for the north side. Wow. Or is it for the G2 side? I would say it's for the G2 side. Oh, wait. You need to be 0, zero 7 which is Yeah, nice. no, it's fine. Cajun's going to start it off. Kenny goes down. Shocks. Uh, trying to hold off an angle, but there's two of them, not one. That's going to break the goose egg. As soon as you mentioned it. Well, we did say, even in the first map of this grand final, Three rounds, that's enough on the CT side. That could be enough to work with there, and it might look like a very one-sided affair at the moment, but North can still bounce back in. That's the first on the board, like you said. Broken the goose egg. Orbs are on the Cajun beat. AZ, of course, still on that side of s That seems to be the most prevalent rifle we've seen on the CT side. How Fred do you feel about trampolines? Love them. like them. Love them. My Stupid. grandparents used to have like an outdoor one, like, with it, like an Olympic-style one. It was really fun being on one of those because you get a lot more elevation. Yeah, they can be quite scary outside, especially. Yeah, have you seen the new age ones now in Australia? They're like caged. It's really bad. Yeah, they're, no, they're, they're all like that they're now. Dangerous I think. A a AF. Yeah, I think they're all. You talk about the circular ones that come with like those like big things around them, the black netting almost. And yeah, that's pretty common now, I think. Too many kids have fallen off. Do you ever double jump your friend? Yeah, that was always fun. Yeah, you just send them flying. Yeah, that was a good one. You can actually cause some damage with that. Yeah, you can. That's why I think that's why the cages yeah. exist now. Cajun's going to take Kenny. Speaking of caging, and it's going to be Shocks left in a one versus two with bomb play that they've got to cross him, though. And they haven't checked stables. They think he's on the site. This could be easy for Shocks. It always is. Is it? Yeah. Watch this. Done. Boom. Brrr. Where is he? Boop. I don't know. Boop. Is, is that a full he's DDs? On it. Uh, he's on it. He's no, definitely he's on it. Not, he's not, he's not. You're right. You're right, Chad. I'm sorry. Brrr. Oh, that's interesting. He went for that. He's still got the defuse. Yep. It's all good. Yeah, he would have been able to see the spidey wires, right? That's true. Well, the spider wires are a big part of the game now. I guess jumping it. I, I, I don't think that's properly like put into everyone's head right now. I still mm. think like you look at it and you're still thinking like he could. Is he? Isn't he? 
I guess it also depends on like what resolution and quality you're kind of playing on. If you're using like a low res, maybe you might not notice it as much. Especially it might blend what was this, with sorry? the model. Do you know the, the new Valve added the, the, the wires when you press E on the bomb now to oh, show you yeah, how you're yeah, doing yeah. it? Yeah. So he wasn't even touching the bomb, he was confusing it, it was kind of baiting as it was. And he obviously jumped up and presumably could have seen the wires or not. But Easy. Yeah, I didn't like that update, I'm not going to lie to you. Tried the one-way smoke, gets punished for him. <laughs> Kenny, dishing out more punishment. Powdering more bottoms. Buggering more assholes. <laughs> He's done enough of that today. Can't do any more. It'll be one two. Another nice headshot there from Kenny. So this is one zero in this grand final. The bracket was reset. North did a very good job in the first opening series, but looking to close it out now, it's up to Cajun B. He's got the AWP and coming out. It's very difficult to win these sort of rounds. He's got the diffuse kit and of course the smoke grenade. I'm checking that on top of the bomb, but with two players to find, maybe this is possible now. He's gonna just gonna find Shoxy and fire seven. Very good at close range. But can't get the shots required. It's going to be shocking to take him down. 10-2. I think we may be getting close to our champions arriving here. I think the crown is slowly being placed on their heads here. Frag after frag, round yeah. after round, as G2 build a solid lead. But we have said time and time again throughout this event that the terrorist side has a huge advantage because they have the post-plant positioning. And uh, once more, that's being demonstrated here. Back to you in the studio, Matthew. Shox is waiting for AZ. He can wait all he wants. AZ's not going to peek in directly. And when he does, he makes good of it. It's going to be Cajun just sitting around, but Kenny's already got it inside of KFC. Not much time for Cajun to work on this. I'd stick it. I don't blame him for doing this. Oh, the, the pistol, pistol faded him. Work. That's actually awesome. Well, did Kenny do? I missed it. He dropped he threw the pistol. The pistol. Yeah. Right, okay. And it made him off. He, he let go of it because he assumed he was going to peek after it. Yeah. And the full DPS would have worked if he just stuck yeah. it. Oh, he hits it up. Well, 11 2. AK getting up close in personal stomach. Change of pace. Shoxy trying to throw his aces. That's a leg shot, I think, coming in nice and early. You can see Cajun B's got down to 14 HP. AZ will be the one coming out of the connector as well. He's found a frag, but still Shoxy waiting for him. He takes on AZ. Round's pretty much over. I don't see Cajun B feeling to step up there. Nice shoulder bait from AZ. That's going to be Shoxy dead now, presumably. There it is. Good shot from AZ. They found the third round. We've been calling that the magic number for now. You get three on the CT side of Cobble. You're pretty much set. Now that's enough. It's not ideal, sure, but it's okay. Hmm. Four would be uh, sitting pretty for North. We've seen, uh, well, as you were in the toilet, Henry, you mentioned the amount of overtimes these guys have had today on this same map. Uh, this would be the third time they're actually playing it, so the tendencies by this point might be shining through. Kenny, meanwhile, with the bomb already down, he's going to peek back out. Cajun, good angle. Shocks. He's just going to wait this with time. Has no information at all, so he's still looking at toward B platform, but I think he's going to conclude here that they are both here. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, he's got this, Kill on the he? bomb. That's Whoa. quite good. 12 3. Thank you for the order, Matic. Bite the bullet. Emphasis. Bite the bullet. Get the fuck out of here, Nor. Kick the bin. Kick the bucket. Whatever it is. You probably say kick the bin. Do you have a bin list then in Australia? That's a bucket list. Well, no, but you, you guys always say in the bin. Do you kick the bin instead of a, a bucket? Bin well, bin's like a, a, rubbish, a rubbish bin. It's like a trash can. Yeah, yeah. but a bucket could still be a... It could be. Wh why is a bucket relevant? A to bucket that? is like a pail, which you'd use yeah, for water, Yeah, I know, water, but you right? could use a bucket as a bin. Yeah, but it's not because it's a bucket. So you, what you would use a bucket for would most likely be sand or water or something which you'd need to move from point A to point B, whereas a bin is what you would actually use for rubbish, which water I or use a bucket sand for my bins. normally is not. I use a bucket for my bins. That's all I'm saying. Anyhow, let's get hyped for these last few rounds, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Well, Kenny S and Shocks, he managed to get the first round. It's going to be a clean sweep as well. Both players surviving. 13-3. G2. CT side now. Ow, oh, can't get that first shot in this case. be with the AWP. Managing to take it down. And Kenny S now left in a pretty... Difficult scenario here. Wolf's looking at him and AZ coming in now. He has got one flashback to work. If he can find the kill case, maybe there's a chance. Not looking like now. Time ticking away. Not a lot he can do here, Matthew. No, I don't think so, Chad. As Kenny's going to try and sit this one back. See if anyone's dropped off the other side. Elevation is not a bad decision. But unfortunately, it's only going to be good for one kill. Or is it? 
He's got to get on it pretty much right now. So Cajun with an AWP, perfect position. And he's made no mistake of it. Good effort from Kenny, to be fair. Managing to get one kill there and touching the bomb at least. Could have had some legs to it, but unfortunately not. It's going to be 13-4 now for North. And getting very close to tournament point here. Shoxi, if you're not aware, is the current reigning champion here at the H HTC Championships. And he was a 1v1 champion last time, looking to get the 2v2 championship under his belt as well. Already won a virtual reality tournament as well, so he's doing very well here. Well, he's got all the go gear. Yeah. The king of Bucharest. It's I Kenny that's going to that flash you? out. Um, I don't know, Chad. Maybe the prince. Yeah, and princess maybe, Chad. I'm not really <laughs> sure. Cajun B is going to walk back out. AZ's already got shocks down, so this is a good chance for North to pick up a fifth round. Or Ooh, is Kenny, it? Because Kenny's Kenny actually going to hold off AZ, and it's quite far away. It's Whoa. Cajun. He knows it. Just Oh, I'm surprised he doesn't just stick it there, to be honest. But he's already tagged him up, so make no mistake. Unfortunately, he's lost the time. Still oh, got the fist bump, Kenny, right? Yeah, good shots by him. Yeah, got the fist bump, but he's still feeling confident. It's this is uh, where North mount the comeback. And we go seven overtimes deep. That could happen. They won the first round in the second half. I don't know. Maybe. AZ's dropped off a bit. Maybe, like Matt said, he's run out of gas. Only five frags from in this map. Cajun the one doing a bit of work and uh, seeing if he can keep them in this matchup. Kenny really shining with his rifle, doing a lot more damage there onto AZ. Now both players have been identified from the north side. Spam comes out, AZ grabs one, Kenny with the trade. One on one, and Cajun finishing off again. Maybe he shouldn't be known as the cleaner, maybe he should be known as the closer. That's uh, well, that's kind of the same thing in, in, in the way he's trying to describe it. He's cleaning up all the, the mess. Mm. Mopping up his opponents. I'm with you. Yeah, you are, you're in the same room, we're, we're all together. We're all in this together. Yeah, we're all going down together. Yeah. Kenny's going to work his way in closer with the rifle. He's gone back to it again. He didn't use the AWP much on the first iteration of this map. Kenny, good shot on AZ. Well, this will flush him out. Cajun doesn't know which way to go. Shocks is up close. Sure. He hasn't been able to hit anything. And yes, they finally will convert around number 14. It's a good attempt. North coming in faster, but it's going to be Kenny S and Shoxy finding a kill. Yeah, you're right. 14 6 now. We're getting to the end of this one. As we'll start to close it down, it's going to be North not looking like they really turned up. After getting the bracket reset, map, they kind of dropped off significantly. That first map was quite a one-sided affair, and this one even more so. Absolutely. Kenny with the flash over. Again, wants to stick with the double rifle, but he gets caught off by an AWP. Cajun immediately through the vent. And Chalk has a 1v2 and a very long entrance to walk in. Ops going to be staring down towards stables as soon as he steps out from this angle. Oh, take it back. Cajun was there. Take away the X, right? He's moved. He's vanished. He's gone back to a different position. Misses a shot, though, and AZ makes no mistake. That'll be seven for them. Still just two to go for G2, but it's going to be no easy task. Yeah, a huge uphill struggle at this stage. Orps and application B. He's been carrying so far in this version of the world, at least. He's going to find another opening frag there. It's AZ who's dropped off, and we'll see whether Shoxi can do anything about this scenario. I think that's the flashback coming in. Easy frag to take down Cajun B. This could be it now as we'll get to tournament point. AZ takes the nade to the face, down to 72 HP. Flashbang is decent though. That'll at least buy him a little bit of time. Shoxi now just trying to wait for him to make a mistake and it comes in, Matt. There it is. Tournament point now granted for G2. All down to that man on the screen. The legend of Counter-Strike. It's Shoxi Jesus. Yep. One to go. Shoxi Jesus who could be a back-to-back -back HTC champion. I think, what does that mean? What does HTC give him for that? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe absolutely nothing. Another Vive, a money, a phone, <laughs> money, twenty grand. Yep, twenty grand's not bad. Kenny doesn't get any cut of it, obviously. Obviously, shocks will get it closer. Az's gonna hold off. Good angle. I always did like this angle. The problem is if he misses the shot when they go to Wood Rock, they can control the peak against him. Dodge the first flash. Makes no mistake. It's Cajun that actually hits it. Excuse me. First, as Az will follow it up. More sprays. He's got to have like two left after this event. Yeah, he's been doing that what clutch you later or something every single time. Nice to clutch you. Something. Isn't it? Yeah. Welcome to the clutch. Welcome to the clutch. Nice to clutch you's not bad though. No, that's the NTC product line. That's what they said. Right. Hats and stuff. That's, that's right. That's what I was thinking of. Nice to clutch you. And that doesn't it actually mean something else. Like, I don't know. No FNX not even on Immortals anymore apparently. Yeah, I need to read that article. I haven't read that yet. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah. Cajun B gonna take down Kenny S. Cajun B gonna take down Shocks as well. Leaving us on the penultimate point. We will sit and wait once more. 
thoughts on the overall event, Henry? Uh, I've actually really enjoyed it. Um, obviously, the the format never been tested before. That's why we kind of found ourselves there. Very long day, but still, it's been great CS. Nice to see the top players kind of embracing it and enjoying themselves. This, this could be oh, it. Cajun shuts it down. That was the entrance they needed. I thought surely AZ was a sitting duck. Yeah, and I think we've had some really exciting rounds, some huge clutch moments, and like some great storylines. Like you said, the Space Soldiers guys coming into this tournament once again as underdogs and proving themselves to be worthy opponents for the likes of some of the world's best. And here we go then, Matt. Five tournament points available for G2. Surely we're not going to overtime. You just don't see a world of that happens. But Cajun B, he's fighting as he hits another shot there with the AWP. Sharks going aggressive. Has Cajun pushed out inside of the Molotov? Good spray. Actually, I take that back from Kenny. It was the Flames. It's going to leave them in a one versus one, although he's got 12 HP. M4. It's not even like he can get the jump on the headshot. He's got to be perfect. And AZ's having none of that. Overtime. Could be a possibility again, Henry. Yeah, definitely a possibility, but unlikely. We'll see, though. It's Cajun B doing the majority of the work. AZ's now starting to come to life. Four rounds in a row, four north. Number 27. Hear the music at the start. Oh, this is good from AZ. Dead. Easy kill. Oh! Well, he wasn't, but yeah, good positioning. So, do we write this one off, or does Kenny have a chance? We'll find out. He's won some 2v1s before, but it's very, very unlikely, all things considered. He's got flashbangs to work with here, has no idea where the T's are. He takes an amazing and missed shot, potentially, and it's going to be the PT-52 pick up. Round number 12 there for North. The Danes still going at it. As we enter round number 28, overtime. This would be quite a fitting way to close things out after what we had before. Ready to go, though. Asian B looking towards middle once again. Kenny this time checks the vent right away. Won't get caught off by that position again. Cajun's going to watch up on Juliet, though. He's got to be so good with a shoulder peak. Entrance of Shocks and Kenny's got it. That's it. HGC champions, G2, Shocks and Kenny. A very good round at that, I have to say. Yeah, that was very good. And what an entertaining series it's been. The grand final, we've got the bracket reset. It's been a while since we had that sort of upper bracket sort of advantage in the tournament. And it seemed to almost work out for North there, but they fought at the final hurdle. Shoxie and Kenny S proving too powerful for everyone in this tournament. They had their ups and downs, and they actually lost on the first day as well. Going down to that lower bracket, but fighting back eventually into the playoffs. And uh, yeah, looking to have strong ever since. Very strong, I have to say. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with AZ and Cajun B. They both played very well. Hopefully, as you said, this is confidence for AZ. I think he's shown that he can be lights out. Cajun was more the rock. Yeah, Cajun was just like nothing too flashy. He wasn't like going absolutely nuts with like quick scopes and like flick shots. He was just doing what was required of him to get the, the at least one shot per round. And AZ, as the tournament pro progressed, he started to look like his old self, like I said, the kind yeah, of the Dignitas form like we used to know him from. And that's well, here's the bracket. There's a look at our bracket. It's all the way through. This was playoffs today. It started out with Rain and Nico playing against the two that just picked up the tournament win. And then Zontaras and, and Kalex, excuse me, taking on North. North actually protruding all the way through. Here are you going to come around and sit? Yeah, We've got sit chairs down, boys. for Get you, the lads. Heads on. The champions are here. Why is Kenny champion. giving me giving me grief as soon as he gets what in? Did he He's already shit talking me. I don't know what he said. I didn't hear him. Right but there we go. I'll hold this. Don't worry. I got this for them. I'll hold. I'll hold your money. I'll, I'll be your fan, girl. Right. Here's the grand reveal. We have the boys. Hello. Congratulations. Hello. Thank yeah. you very much. We did it. Did you think the bracket reset was oh, going to happen? Were you scared? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What about um, the fatigue? Did you feel tired like going yeah. into that one? Yeah, yeah. 2 a.m. We're, we're tired. I, I think now we're, we're tired as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations, boys. Joxie, you've done it two times in a row here. It's going to be quite a nice feeling. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> yeah. I love HTC. He loves HTC. I man. love you all. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I love HTC to too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one asked you, Kenny. Um, <laughs> wh why the decision to play? Okay, <laughs> all right. Why the decision to play the same two maps in the veto twice? Uh, because we, we, our pick is Nuke, not Cobalt, and we just felt like the two times we just played it played it like really badly, you know. So we basically fucked up twice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fair enough. Twice. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the check down. I'm actually gonna run and leave with that. That's all mine now. Okay, you can yeah, have it. Kenny, I, I noticed in the in the first best of three then the grand final, the orb was a little bit shaky for you. You went to a right a few times and then it came back once again. Did you change anything up or you just got more confidence in the the second showing or what? Uh no I actually felt really confident with the orb during the entire tournament except the first match maybe. Yeah. Okay. But um I'm just uh, adapt to um, to the map and the side 
that's it. Like in City Side and Cobalt, I will mainly play with rifle because sure. it's easier. And on Nuke, uh, I feel comfortable with the AWP, so yeah, both no, sides. Yeah, not many people are willing to pick up the AWP on Nuke at the moment, it seems like. You're actually one of the main players that's doing that, and you're very good at the close range, very fast shots, and I guess it suits your play style. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How did you uh, how did you adapt? Uh, we were talking to Shocks when he was on the desk. How did you adapt to figuring out the spawns? Did you have any subtleties you picked up on? Like, have you spawned at ramp? Did you know that there was likely going to be someone in orange box? Was there any rhythms or patterns you found? Yeah, um, of course. Um, we played many times the maps, so we basically knew the spawn and the pattern, uh, even though it's not 100%, I guess. Um, but yeah, especially on Nuke, um, we were the first team to play it. And I, uh, I remember arriving on the server earlier than the opponent, and we actually checked every spawn, and hmm. yeah, just Interesting. get wow. the advantage. There's like 30 spawns apparently. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Is, is there like is there like work. a file you can look at? You have to just test them one by one or what? Well, I, I'm not sure. We were just told that by the PGL admins, okay, and I right assume right. that they would have done the work on it, looking into this for the event. Yeah. Well, so there you go. There you go. Interesting stuff. The trophy is fragile, apparently, so don't drop it on your way home. Do what you can. Cause yeah, it's going to be hard at the airport. Someone, yeah, yeah, that's true. Get someone <laughs> there is screen. a nade as well. Yeah, that's not getting through security. Sorry, lads. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that here with me. Don't worry about it. Henry <laughs> Henry and I, we're the champions. We yeah, we've done it again. Yeah, nailed it. We always do. Not yeah. true about it. No. Well, boys. Matthew, like would idea. you like to close out the show for us? Uh, I, w I don't know. Would you guys like to close out the show for us? I, I saw you played my show last year. You were so terrible. I never yeah, saw someone that bad. Yeah, you know what? I bad. had you on my team <laughs> in Cologne on a show match, <laughs> oh, and yeah. you were terrible. Yeah, you didn't even yeah. make any calls. <laughs> yeah, so. guess why I was terrible? Because I was playing with you. No, because we had James okay, Bardoff. How can you actually because win with a guy James like you, bro? Off. Actually, fun story. <laughs> you called one round, and we finally said, all right, listen, we had Juliana on our team, too. We yeah. said, all right, listen, we're finally going to make a call. We're going to do this. And you go, like, all right, we're going to do a 3-2 split on A. We're playing cash. I'm going to go outdoor. Matt, Julie, you go A main. And then we get there, and all we hear is Bardoff going, hey, can someone boost me in mid? And we're like, are you serious? Is this real life? Yeah. Yeah. Out outrageous. If you were me, uh, what would you do? Kill him. Team kill him. Take care of Bardoff. Just get him out of, put him out of his misery. No, I have to kill them all because when I'm playing with you, it's so hard to win. Apparently, uh, but I'm the problem. I don't but on the other hand, you are very good at casting. And you're better than Henry. Better than, sorry? Than, than Henry. Henry. Oh, well, that's not hard. No, it's not hard. No, that's, that's not, not true, hard. though. <laughs> and we actually won this Well, on that you. note, because yeah, I can't really win great. anything, I think it has been a ton of fun. Congratulations again to Shox, back-to-back -back HTC champion, even though we had Kenny as dead weight this time that he had to carry to victory. We've had a ton of fun, as always. We've been unprofessional, and I'm not sure if I still have a job as a caster tomorrow based off of that alone. We'll find out. Thanks very much for joining us, guys. We'll see you again soon, hopefully, for another HTC event. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks. Woo! Woo! Sunlight begins to fade now And I feel like I'm losing time But I don't know how I'm here The sunlight has turned to grey And I feel like I'm losing love again I don't know how I'm here
I know now we're getting older The world we built is slipping through our fingers We're running out of time But you are the one I've chosen And I won't lay still 